right, and we are live. Oof. Hello, everyone. How have you guys been? Oh, sorry for the late start. I ended up having to work overtime. Uh, and the job took way longer than I had planned. But, you know, it is what it is. Managed to get home quickly as soon as I could. Eat some dinner. Get cleaned up. Now, here we are. <laughs> Hello, hello, Empire Knight. How are you? How have you been? So today, as the little slideshow that I got here, well, slideshow, it's like two slides. Uh, how would you, hello, Derek. How are you? So today, we're going to be doing Medieval 2 Total War, The Crusades. However, I do have a few rules for myself on this. I am frustrated with my new mustache wax. Ooh. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm sick, but the pasta dish helps sorta. Finally found a use for the red pepper flakes I own. Hey! At least we finally found a use for the red pepper flakes. <laughs> What's up with the wax? Empire Knight. Is not holding how it should. Oh, and I hope you feel better soon, Derek. Being sick sucks. Especially this time of year. Although, during this time of year, it's kind of a given that you're going to get sick. Whenever the seasons change, that's usually when I get it. But, so, as I was going to say... We're going to be doing Medieval 2 Total War, the Crusades, but I want to do a little bit of a challenge to this, which is this. Just three rules, basically Christian units only. So I could only use units that are Christian. I can only spread Christianity. So no pagan units, no uh, Muslim units. Which means I'm not going to be able to use like half the cab in this game. <laughs> because a lot of them are actually the Muslim cab. But we'll figure that out later. Uh, rule number two is that I cannot declare war on any Christian faction. It'll only be Islam and Pagan. So only those two. No Christian factions. And if there is war, so like if they declare war on me, I have to try and solve the war as peacefully as possible. So, a lot more diplomacy, I suppose, is what's gonna count. Does Orthodox count as Christianity? Yes, I will count the Byzantine Empire as Christians. They're another sect, but I will count them as Christians, so I have to play nice with them as well. But, the Turks and... Uh, the Turks, Egyptians, and the Mongols are fair game. I gotta fight them. And then rule number three is I gotta destroy all Muslim and Pagan factions. So it's not just take out one or two or whatever, like what the base game campaign is. It's, no, I gotta take them all out. We are playing a proper crusade. So it is like, yeah, we gotta get in. We gotta fight everybody. Save Christendom, destroy everything else. That is the type of game we're playing today, so. Finally living up to my, uh, to my crusader name. <laughs> but that's pretty much the rules for today. Just wanted to go over that. I might put a little thing up in a corner here somewhere. Yeah. But that's pretty much the objective. Pretty easy, straightforward, simple. But we'll see how well this goes. I already have the game up here, so let me go ahead and swap on over to that. Let's see, where is it? Close that real quick. Go ahead and transition on over. I know you guys can't see anything, but that's why that's how Medieval 2 works. There we go. All right, cool. Single player crusade campaign, and we're gonna be doing Kingdom of Jerusalem. So like I said, we have to play nice of Antinoch and the Byzantines, 
but we have to destroy Egypt and we have to destroy the Turks. And then eventually the Mongols show up. I don't know when. It's kind of random, if I remember right. But eventually the Mongols do show up. We're going to have to take them out. But for now, we're playing Jerusalem. Um, it's going to be a little interesting with these guys because they are a primarily heavy cav uh, focused force and very weak uh, skirmishers and weak light cav which light cav that's fine sweater I don't use them that much uh, skirmishers that does kind of hurt because I do like my archers as you guys know England's my favorite faction so that's going to be a little more interesting I'm going to have to really kind of rely on my cav for a lot of things and it is going to be kind of interesting because you know like I said I can't use Muslim units and Muslims the Muslim factions tend to have much more faster cav. So that's going to be fun trying to figure out. <laughs> but we're going to do long campaign, advice off, just do medium difficulty for now because, well, I don't know. Fuck it. No, nah, we'll do very hard. We'll do very hard difficulty. It's not really much of a difference between medium and very hard, honestly. But let's get this show on the road. The Holy Land. Outremer, a land of faith, a land of war. Byzantium, the majestic gateway to the East and the Crusades. The Principality of Antioch, a proud Crusader state and home to the Hospitallers. Jerusalem. The Holy City, a kingdom forged by blood, steel, and faith. A place revered by the faithful and coveted by many. In the east, the mighty Saluks, led by Nur din fighting to drive the accursed crusaders into the sea. And to the south rises the cunning Salah al-Din, builder of an empire. An empire ready to grind the Crusaders into the desert sands. This is a time of faith. A time of battle. A time of total war. Alright. This is gonna be fun. Uh, oh, this music's not really playing, is it? I'm sorry. Let me turn that up. Yeah, that'll work, I think. Let me know if that's too loud. But, alright. Let's see here. Do we start off at war with... Any yeah, we're already at war with Egypt. And we're already allied with Antonok. So that's great. Uh, let's see here. Here, I think I could take Sorry. all of you, but leave you two. That should be plenty to defend that. I want to try and move as quickly as I can and take out Egypt as fast as I possibly can. Who we got? Ballin. All right. Let me join them. Assembling a mighty host of your troops, sire. Orders. Uh, let's see here. That's your faction here. I would like to actually have him on the front lines as well. That'd be kind of cool. Sire, orders. Hail my king. Uh, let me. Well, I'll, I'll figure out that later. My lord. Kind of going yes, over how I want to do this. God's servant. And I'd send you In over here. God's name. Uh, let's see. Empire mustache man, I see. Yes. Uh, Empire, don't you have a full-on Viking beard, if I remember right? Sire. Uh, we're going to take all of you, I think. Maybe. Oh, God, that's so many Orders. Crusader units. Now let's Hail take him to... It's just different style of wax that I'm used to. 
I don't quite know how to work with it as well as the other stuff I got. Ah, got to take some time. Slowly learn it. We'll leave you. Well, you're chivalry. I might actually leave you. Yeah, we'll leave him behind. Sorry. Take all of you, take all of you. Joining forces, my lord. Uh, how many? I'd like two more. What do you need? My lord. Orders. Sire. Orders. Oh. My lord. Yeah, no, you need knight units. We'll take the knights. Your Majesty. Without question, sire. Yes. Keep sire. him up there for now. Then we get some spies built. As well as mines. I want to in churches. You're all ready for an upgrade. Uh and you're also ready for an upgrade. What about you, Jerusalem? Yeah. Get irrigation. Upgrade. What about you? Mines. Church. Anything we could recruit. Okay, so like, units like these guys, I can't use. Because they're Muslim units. Can't use them. Well, wait a minute. Composed of Christianized Turks. Maybe. I might be able to use those guys. But like these guys. Arabic troops. I can't use them. So, won't be able to have access to those guys. Only Christian soldiers. Uh, let's... Get another spy. Or Frankish Axeman. You're alright. I might be able to use you. Uh. Cav. Cav's gonna be pretty important here. And a navy. That, that's actually one of the big ones. I'm gonna have to build up a navy really, really fucking quick. Because we don't really have much of a navy. Uh, the challenge doesn't sound very historically accurate because the Christians were at each other's throats just as much as everyone else. That is true. That is true, but right now we get the option to... Uh, I'm gonna use different ones. Oh, we, they, they don't even have walls. Okay. The siege goes as planned. That'll work. Where to, sire? Sire. Sire. Oh, I should have sent the spy in for it. Ah, whatever. Sire. We'll worry about it later. And we actually have a reasonably good funding, too. It's kind of nice. King. Where to, sire? With discretion. Send you out. Hail my king. Oops. Making camp here, noble well, I might send you down. We shall continue tomorrow, my lady. But uh, that is true, Empire Knight. The Christians were at each other's throats yes, the entire time when they were trying to take Jerusalem. It's part of the reason why it took so long for them to do anything. Sire. But in this expansion, really the only other Christians we got is Antinoch, and that's Pretty much it. We don't really have anyone else among us. Uh, sure. Through the holy word of the prophet, blessed be his name, have the people of Islam been taught to embrace peace and mercy? Alright, so that's them calling their thing. My lord. 
I might actually try to starve this town out. Oh yeah, we're already making a reasonable amount of money. Ships ready. Joining fleet ready, sire. Just keep building me navies, guys. I need a navy. <laughs> like desperately. Just keep building me some. What can you recruit? You're a minor city, so I don't need that much. But a city watch would be kind of nice. And a council chamber. Lista maker. Go ahead and start loading some of these things up. I do have a fallen beard that I actively braid. Yeah, I, I thought you did. I remember you mentioning that. Turns until surrender three. Actually, we'll probably just wait that out then. Oh boy. It's gonna take some time first. Jerusalem. God. It doesn't say whether or not they're Christian or not, so I'm, I'm a little hesitant about using these archers. They're not great, though, to begin with. But the only other archers we have aren't all that great either. <laughs> Hail my king. Uh, Hail are you a king. night fighter by chance? You are. Uh King. Where's my spy? There he is. Where to, sire? Come down here. I kind of want you to stick with him. Hail my king. Yes, my liege. With honor, sire. Yes, my liege. That's within range with of them attack now, so I do want to be careful on that. Here, noble sire. Got a bunch of fucking rubble joining around, really. Yes, your highness. Name the blessing. Are you fucking kidding me? Poor guy. Our guy became a fucking what? A heretic? This is the heathen in question, my lord? God will judge them. Why? Sire. Sire. That's fucking dumb. Yeah. Fleet ready, sire. Build up navy. Merging fleets, my lord. Uh. Hail my king. Kinda want to leave you. Hail my king. Hail my king. Might take you. Sire. Just fuck it. Why sire. not? Hail so we'll just king. take all of you. How do I want to do this? They are just brigands, so I don't think that'd be that much of a trouble. Yala, my sultan wishes yes. Sibni Lawadi, infidel. 
I will not waste words. Yala, my sword. Hail, my king. My lord. Sire. Gotta leave like two of those guys. As you wish. Same with these guys. We pretty much take everyone here. First fight shouldn't be too bad. Must it is mostly just uh, or not mercenaries, whatever guys. The uh, brigands. Units, await my orders. All right, skirmishers up front. Because I don't really care if you guys die. Oh, hey, Varig. How are you? A uh, little fact about the Templars. They are said to begin worshipping Baphomet and demand heretic, themed heretics. This is more likely a translation of Baphomet, but they said would still be deemed heretics. Ah. So, that whole debacle, from what I understand, is actually was not true. Because one of the whole, one of the things that had happened and why they were hunted down, or the Knights Templar, that is, is because the King of France borrowed a shit ton of money from them and owed them a lot. And there was no way in hell he was going to be able to repay them. So he pretty much like, ah, oh, fuck it. I won't have to repay you guys if you guys aren't around anymore. And that's basically what happened. Is <laughs> he deemed them heretics and started hunting them all down. So that way he didn't have to pay them anymore. Let's sort these guys out a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Um, we are going to have to rely a little bit more on our cav. I think for now we'll be alright. you guys over here actually yeah that'll work missile calf oh. where is your general he's not mixing with missile calf is he uh uh french king something 14th or he's to blame Louis the Fourth. Yeah. Louis the Fourth. Whatever his name was. He was the one who's pretty much like, oh shit, I own the Templars a lot of money and I don't want to pay, so uh fuck it. It was kind of a you know, shitty move on his half, but you know. Whatever, I guess. Move our cab over there for now. Kind of give them away from these guys. I don't think they have any archers, do they? No, no, they don't. out of there. Uh, it also didn't help that the French owed them a lot of money. Yeah, that's exactly what it was going on, is that the French owed them a lot of fucking money. Alright. They're charging. Let's send our boys in. Like, come on. Why are you guys moving so fucking slow?
Come on, guys. Are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. It shows you how much I actually play Cav because I'm not doing very well with these guys. What movement that is. the enemy's general that'll teach the right, cowardly cool. dog to turn tail and run now he can rest at our leisure Yeah, come capture the guys, please. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and right, run cool. them down. Let's capture them. Let's go. Louis? Not Louis? Eh, one of the two. Louis, Louis, one of the two. To be fair, it's really hard to know which one is which when it comes to French kings because it's pretty much it's Louis and that's it. It's Louis, Louis, and they're always like names start with L, so I get them confused all the time. It's not like how with, uh, like English kings, at least each English king had a different name. You know, you got Richard, you got Henry, you got, hey, back up guys. You got Alfred. France, everyone was either Louis or Louis. And that's pretty much it. Guys, get him. Get that unit, too. Oh my god, get him. Come on. Have not this wanted to listen to me. That goes to only men of great virtue and valor. Well, that wasn't too bad. Took him out pretty quickly. By God's will, we have triumphed. All right, cool. Hail my king. Order. Yes. And then I will take my Lord. all of you, Sire. and like my one Lord. unit of you. That works. Not one unit Orders. here could like go By back in the command. city. Hail my king! By your will, sire, we shall engage. Ah, oh, that's just auto resolve there. Uh, uh. Hail my king, sire. Orders. Let's replenish our numbers here for a bit. All right, we're looking good so far. Yes, we can go no. Hail my king, assembling a mighty host of your troops, sire. All right, cool. 
Hail my king! Yes, my liege. This tower will keep vigil over the lands. Where to, sire? All right, I think we're good for now. Oh, I knew I should have fought these guys first. Okay. Glory to your name, This one's sire. gonna be a bit of an the uphill attack. battle. Not a very good map for Cav, which I don't know if that's a good thing or not. <laughs> Depends on what they got, I suppose. up more men. They hope to make up in numbers what they lack in gallantry. Oh, that is a lot. Uh, that's a lot of cow. I don't know if we're actually going to win this one. This is going to be a bit of an uphill battle. I mean, technically they're fighting uphill, but still, we're outnumbered a good, like, two to one. Although, balance of power is in our favor, so that's a little surprising. See where their general is because I want to kill him as quickly as I can. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Okay. Sadly, the baguettes were not very good at naming the kings. No, they were not. <laughs> General's on a light infantry, light cab, I think. Maybe. One day out the general. Are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. The enemy general has no honor. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Nice. George, we've captured the enemy's general. That'll teach the cowardly dog to turn tail and run. Rest at our leisure. Start slamming into guys. I want to try and get rid of this army as quickly as I can. These guys are moving awfully quick.
Jeff, stop fucking around. I need you over here. So many other units are starting to break now. This is actually really nice. Well, those units are actually doing pretty decent against these guys. That's a nice charge. Shit. Uh, this is messy. It's very messy. I don't like it, but we're doing a decent job at handling this. Our cab is definitely taking a beating. So we don't just handle these guys. We need to figure out where their other general is. So we could kill him as quickly as we can. Yeah, 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 we're fine. Don't worry. See, I want to look around and see if we can find their general. That might no, that's merchant cav. I have no idea where their general is at. I don't see his flag anywhere. Uh, this. Oh, that's just heavies. We're kind of getting surrounded by all sides right now, which isn't great. That's Mamluks. Uh, this might be his unit here. Yeah, that's his unit here, I think. Maybe, maybe not. I don't see him though. If that's his unit, I don't see him anywhere. Where is their general? Shit. He's not behind us anywhere, is he? I have like no idea where his general ran off to. Oh. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle. Oh, oh that was him, so he's leaving. All right. Where is 
boys, brace. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we'll smash the enemy. They got their light infantry. They got their archers. I think our infantry. I'm pretty certain that on 1v1, our infantry is better than theirs. Only half the enemy force remains. So I'm not super concerned about that. About our guys up here, because I'm pretty certain our guys could actually hold them. For the most part, that is. We're definitely taking more casualties than I would have liked. Oh yeah, they're breaking. Alright. We got this. See if you guys can chase these guys down. I think it's safe to say that we won. <laughs> they really only have archers left at the moment. Our men have fought long and are becoming tired. And yeah, that unit just broke. So you guys could deal with that. You guys just keep hunting units. The enemy units. are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. The enemy army flees the field. Perfect. Pursue and run them down. We definitely took a beating. <laughs> definitely took one hell of a beating. But we won. For being as outnumbered as we were, we were able to win that. Come on, they got all their guys. Good this is there. a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. Fuck it, yeah. We were basically two to one. Took heavy casualties, for sure, but we won that. Definitely in better shape than they are. So that's good. No, do not do this. Show Allah's mercy. Actually, <laughs> Adoption, sure, I'll take him. Hail my king. All right. So that battle could have gone a bit better than I would have. Sire. Then you know, I would like. Sire. For sure. We lost a lot of guys. A lot of guys. Uh, but we did ultimately come out on top, so that's nice. Um. Let's actually. Pull units from here. My king. Sire. My lord. Sire. Come and join him. Yeah. There. Yeah, we'll replenish our forces that way. And we're already kind of broke. So that, that's cool. Yes, your highness. Who is the heretic, sire? Oh, you failed at the that. The heretic How will not survive. At that? My lord. Yes, my lord. I Without question. Do you want to go and talk to the Byzantines Tomorrow's as well? Tomorrow's journey planned out, sire. Sire. Of course, sire. Approaching quietly. Of 
course. Oh, look around. I think there's a city down here that we could probably take. Hail my king! Before he starts moving, I want to see. Let's see, where's my spies at? There we go. That's one of them. Why are you spying our own guys? That's fucking stupid. Move. Okay, that is a reasonable force. Shit. Hail my king. An Egyptian assassin. That's cool. Uh, you guys are gonna have that in one turn, so I think I'll be all right with waiting on that. And if I'm completely honest with you, I think I'm all right with taking all of you guys. Yes. Don't fucking kill him. All right, cool. Yes, Preparing the men to attack. Units, await my orders. Oh, we can't see shit. <laughs> I can't. I literally can't see shit. I can't see anything, so we're just kind of moving our guys in. Actually, you go for their missiles. That'll be nice. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Yeah, just, this unit can just chill here at the gates. I'm actually okay with that because they're gonna have to retreat at some point. And our guy is just chilling here at the gate. Is the enemy gonna be able to capture no them. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. I still don't know what the fuck's going on. I'm completely honest with you guys. I can't see shit. Only half the enemy force remains. The enemy general flees like the coward he is. Press onward. As we like fucking kill him. <laughs> I 
Oh, this is so disorderly. <laughs> so disorientated. Oh, I can't see shit. I'm literally just attacking whatever's moving right now. Okay, well, their guys look like they're all about to break, so I guess this is a win. Who's left? The enemy army flees the oh, field. Pursue literally no one. Down. <laughs> okay. That works. And everyone... We'll send our spearmen in there and our heavy infantry. Gav could leave. Infantry's pretty much got everything else. Gav, I said you could leave. Infantry's got everything else. Yeah, they're, they're just gonna butcher those guys. They're just missile units. This is a clear victory. The ghost Already at the world white on foggy days. I know, battle. right? I can't see shit. <laughs> this entire battle, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I mean, we slaughtered them. We absolutely slaughtered them. So it's a win. It's just like I don't know what the fuck's happening. <laughs> the day is ours, sire. Uh, sack it. God's servant. Name the battle. There we go. Nice. He was able to kill one finally. All right, cool. Let's replenish our forces a bit. Didn't get that much of a beating. Although he did get fucked up a bit. I'm sorry, buddy. I think most of that force is actually fine. Yes, sire. Sire. Alright. Sire. Let's see if the spy can get it. Oh, of course the spy fucking dies. Why would he not die? Sire. My lord. As you wish, sire. Laying siege, sire. Siege force reporting though. Well, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, all of you could go in there. I'm fine with that. Let's get some infantry forces out. Oh, I'm broke again. South, check your fan art section on Discord when you get a chance at what? Not South. Oh, <laughs> the cold is making me loopy. Is it now? What's going on on there? Hang on, let me take a look. I'm curious. <laughs> Welcome to Silent Hill. Yeah, that's a perfect piece. Oh, Poker Face did a great job of that. Welcome to Silent Hill. That uh, that describes that battle perfectly. Foggy and wearing white armor. Can't see shit. <laughs> Oh, 
Here, I'm gonna save this real quick and pull it up on stream here. Give me one second. Well, that's not what I wanted. Do, do, do desktop where is it there it is oh i put it on the wrong one shit <laughs> there we go <laughs> this is a nice little piece so poker face made me he drew me. That's cute. I like it. Oh, and then Derek did the Welcome to Silent Hills. That pretty much sums up that fight right there. That sums up that fight perfectly. Where it's just foggy and I can't see shit. So I'm just kind of throwing guys around. Hopefully I hit something. That fits that battle perfectly. Oh, that was good. Anyways, that coworker that didn't last two days is apparently in police custody because he's been talking, been stalking my other coworkers and making valid threats. Holy shit, what the fuck? What is going on with that guy? The fuck is his issue? You're just stalking your other co-workers for no reason now? Ship's ready. Set sail. Yes, sir. Hail my king. Where to, sire? Mm. Investigating with discretion. That's not a very big force. I mean, yeah, it's a big force. It's mostly cav. We might be able to pull something off on that. Hail my king! Hail my king! Are you a knight? You are a knight fighter. Hail I believe my you're king. also a knight fighter, aren't Hail you? My king. You are. Okay, this may not be that bad after all. Hail my king. Because what we could do is do night fights on them. Just ambush them, you know? Yes, your highness. Impossible, my lord. That might work. Oh, we're also broke again, so that's cool. <laughs> your majesty. Yes, sire. I cannot do that, sire. Come all the way up to there. Tomorrow's journey planned out, sire. Sire, where to, sire? Who we got here? Watching from the shadows, sire. Crown Prince. All right. But we don't have any info on his army. We just know that it's the crown prince. That's the other town. Okay. We'll have you fight the prince first and then move south and take that out. 
I think that's going to be the game plan. And then we're going to try and do a night fight on this guy. Maybe it's enough to fuck with them. Do like a... Oh, they're fucking uphill. Shit. I was hoping we ambush them at night. have cap set up over here that should work all right well one of my co-workers happens to be a very nice lady and he was the one who was making harassment comments to her when he was working the and apparently he took it up a notch what the fuck that's so uncalled for like why do you need to do dumb shit like that Like, that is so stupid. Like, is the guy really that petty, you know? Why do I always have a hard time trying to find their generals in this fucking game? Doesn't he usually have a bigger banner than everyone else? Oh yeah, that's just stupid. Like, why? You know? like missile cav I still don't see their general unless he's he's got to be mixed in here somewhere I'm thinking he's probably in a front line set. well I know their generals like to stick in like the light cav at least that's what I noticed that Egypt's generals tend to prefer to be in like light cav rather than heavies so maybe he's in one of those. Is that him? No, that's not him. That's a regular dude. I straight up just don't see him. And I probably scrolled past him like 50 times by now.
and I don't, yeah, no, they're not in any rush to fight us right now, so we can take our time. Yeah, I don't understand why he decided to do that, but hopefully they throw a book at him. He never sees the day of the fight. Yeah. Like, that's so fucking stupid. They're probably not going to do that much to him, if I'm completely honest with you, because they tend to not to. But it's still, like, just the idea of it is fucking dumb. Like, why? Oh, they're backing themselves up in the corner, aren't they? Okay, now they're starting to move. At this rate, they're gonna let us take the fucking top of the hill. Oh no, they still got some room to move. Alright, I thought they were slowly backing themselves into a corner. yourselves out, please. Are you gonna bite? Come on. Definitely being hard headed, aren't they? Uh, send you guys that way. Oh, they are going to end up. I, we're going to keep moving back more and more, and eventually they're going to lose this hill. Oh, there he fucking is. Jonas, move on. Fuck, he's in an infantry unit. What the hell? Okay. Well, that's convenient. That's gonna make fighting them a hell of a lot easier. We just stay focused on his left flank here, or right flank. He's gonna eventually just give up the hill altogether, it looks like. Oh, uh, no, maybe not. He's moving archers. is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. All right, Cal, come back up. There looks like they're gonna actually give up this hill.
Archers, focus on them. I might actually send my cap after their archers. Just kind of pester them a bit. Oh, I bet that's kind of what they want. Let's just let's do it. Let's go ahead and commit my force. Because they obviously don't want to commit. And every time they charge us, they start breaking, so it's not like it's that much <laughs> deal. Continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Cavell. Oh, yeah, like almost everyone is the enemy general bro. has no honor. He flees the field of battle. The battle is... Our men have captured the enemy general. Perfect. Guard him well and make it so he can see us and the rest of his army. Uh, I don't know who's left fighting right now. Uh... Pretty certain all their forces are in full retreat. Actually, they'll get their heavy infantry. Those guys are a little bit more expensive. That's everyone. And those guys. I highly doubt I'm gonna be able to capture them now. So there's those guys. They're in retreat. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Nah, this we'll is call a it. clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. That wasn't that bad. I did, we only lost 171. Shit. I thought we lost more than that. That actually went really well. No, don't be so hasty, Sadiq. Why would I do anything else? Hail, my king. Hail, my king. I can't get him closer. What would be nice is that since that is the faction heir, is to be able to have both armies ascend upon him. Fleet ready, sire. That would be kind of nice. I'd plot that course, sire. Or Hail I could just my send king. my king straight at them. Start knocking these guys out. Because I'm pretty certain that this is all they got. I don't think they have much else. Hail my king. Why are you pissed? Like, what, what's wrong? There, low taxes. How's that? God's serve. I also need priests, too. Shit. Where to, sire? Hail, my king. Hail, my king. Hail, my king! Can I set you up as an for an ambush? Maybe.
Well, I mean, I'm broke. It's not like I can do anything. Uh, maybe. That, that would be nice. If I remember how to... Sire. The proper button for ambushes was. Hail my king! <laughs> I'm debating if I want to move forward or help support the, and kill the prince. I th I I think this army Hail should be able king. to do it. It's got enough units. It's mostly heavy infantry. I think we'll be all right against him. Hail so my king. I'll go ahead and move my guy As you up. Will, my king, to battle. By God's will, we have triumphed! Hail, my king! By your will, sire, we shall engage. An honorable, glorious victory! Okay, well, he's set up an there ambush no there. Glory in hiding like this, my lord. That will work. We could do that. We'll have our king set up an ambush right on the side of the road here. And then as our guys just keep marching through, we'll just fucking butcher them. There will be much hail, my king. He get, unfortunately, he can't really hide anywhere. Not within range, that is. Hail, my king. Orders, my lord. Mokwa. Maybe. Orders, orders, my lord. Orders, my lord. Oh. Orders. Hail, my king. If we split the troops, he might. But I don't really want to do that. And how much? Like you got fucking seven turns. Holy crap! That's a uh, that city's uh, not wanting to surrender anytime soon. Let's go. We'll call it. We'll see what happens. The enemy attacks from our blind side. The cowards. Fight the battle. All right. Name, His sir. are. Are you? Attack. Imagine being an Irish mercenary being sent to a blazing Get desert in the Middle so East. <laughs> yeah, it, it wouldn't be fun now, would it? I mean, they'd be alright, for the most part. Depends who's leading them, you know? Uh, where is your general? I don't think you guys have a general. I think you just have a captain, don't you? Where is he at? And it's funny that our amp, like, <laughs> this is an ambush. Because, you know, sneaky boys standing out in literally the open. Yeah, I straight up don't see. I straight up don't see where their captain is. Shit. Not that it matters. It is only a captain. That's missile cav. I would actually like to take those guys out as quickly as possible. That's heavy calf. That's another unit of missile calf. The light skin they had was made for foggy weather, not the desert. Hope the sunburn wasn't too bad. <laughs> Oh man, I'm sure those guys got burnt like fuck. Which, in speaking of foggy weather, you sh I don't know if you're we here, but we were fighting a battle, or we were d doing a siege battle in the thickest th fog ever, to the point where I literally could not see my own units, because, you know, men just in white, and foggy weather, and I can't see shit. 
So that entire battle, we won. We clearly won. Surprisingly, but the whole battle was like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. You attack, you just attack whatever the fuck moves, I guess. I can't see shit right now. Let's do the heavies here. The light can attack those guys. Uh. those guys. You two focus them. Oh yeah. They are already breaking. That is cool. Is very much oh, I didn't even favor. see their captain. If we Shit. remain true and <laughs> steadfast, victory will be ours. Let's actually see if we got over to help these guys out. This flank's. How's this flank looking? Not great. Actually, you guys can help them. Uh, King, you move over here. Actually, you can just start grabbing guys. The enemy are badly bloody. They have lost half their men. I literally can't tell what the fuck is going on again. Still standing, just you guys. Okay. You guys all come back. Flees the field. Yeah, see. Pursue and run them down. Pretty easy. Oh 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 who's your favorite Drifters character? I was gonna say, I quite like Oda, but I also really like Shimizu too. Or however you say his name. I'm really bad at pronouncing Japanese names. But I also quite like Scipio in that. I like how they portray him. He's pretty cool. Alright, we're just gonna end this. All of Christendom will be yeah, awed we by the victory those guys. we have won here to Careful Kai's uphill. Never find the morale of shit. Yeah, uh, 
that's what I'm kind of learning is that Egypt's morale is fucking dog shit. <laughs> no. Just that's it. Oh, man, I'm sure. Yes, my liege. Yes. There is no glory and look, we'll just sit right spot. back in our little ambush spot here again and chill. My lord. Sire. Let's replenish our knights a little bit. We are starting to see a bit of a dip. And soldiers, so I do have to be careful of that. Hail, my king! Yes, your highness. Oh, oh. Perfect, nice job, boys. My lord. Uh, six more turns. I'm willing to sit that out and wait. I might send a force up here. Orders. I could take it. I mean, we, that is supposed to be our mission, was to take that after My all. Oh, uh, no. My Lord. Nope, can't use you. Your Serenus. Seracenes. Okay. Hail uh, my king. Let's see if you can spy on this guy again. I want to know his army. Well, I want to know his army, not him. <laughs> Hail, my king! Hail, my king! Nightfighter, we could probably do that. We could, we could take him. I think. For her, those are good characters. Mine is Joan of Arc. She was pretty awesome. She was pretty cool. I do like how Joan of Arc is in there. I like how the ends are like the only ones that have access to magic. It's supposed to be like the idea that they're the ones who like sold their souls so they have magic. Meanwhile, the Drifters are just like normal fucking guys. But I like how the Drifters are just that. They're normal people. And they have to try and make do in a world that's full of magic. I just love that concept. It's such a cool idea to me. Probably use an archer unit there. I'm not expecting there to be too much attacks in some of these towns, so. Doing this gonna be that bad. As you will, my king, to battle. Alright, we're gonna try this. I think we'll be alright. Why is every battle fucking uphill for us? Archers there. Infantry right behind. Cav okay, right behind. Let's 
Let's see if they come right at us. I'm kind of hoping they do. All right. Let's see, where is your prince at? He's got to be in like a fancy unit, right? It is the prince. So he's got to be somewhere around here. There he is. Okay. Now where is he at personally? Oh, there. All right, cool. So we got to take that unit out as quickly as we can. He's the main one I want. Um, they got a shit ton of archers. And like four units of infantry. <laughs> and then everything else is just cav. Okay. So you guys are gonna try and move around my flank here, huh? Yeah, you are. Okay. You guys aren't retreating, are you? That is a thing. You can do that. You can do an organized retreat. Oh my fucking god, I think they are. I legitimately think they are trying to retreat. Or you guys just trying to take the high ground? You might just be trying to take the high ground. Okay, never mind. They're just trying to take the high ground. When I saw them rushing for the edge of the map, I was like, wait a minute. They're not doing an organized retreat, are they? can take out their missiles. Their missiles are left completely undefended. God, take them out. straight through his forces. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Alright, that is not a fighter board you're going to be able to get out of there. Unless, of course, we're able to kill the prince. That is the main thing that I want. Our men are winning the battle. If we our men have slain there we the go. Saracen Perfect. General, now we must send his men running back to the desert. Right, let's get out of here. Their morale is fucking ass. I am kind of surprised at how bad Egypt's morale can get at times. Oh, oh, they're they're broke. They're absolutely broke. Like, and we're outnumbered like big time, too. General, get out of there. 
Like, it's not like... Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Who's left? The enemy army uh, flees the field. One. Pursue and run them down. I highly doubt we're gonna be able to do this with our cats. We definitely took a lot of casualties, especially for our cav. But so did they. So yeah, you know, I'm fine with that. Yeah, we're By done. the grace of God, our foe is utterly. And we got the prince, which is what I was aiming for. Remember this day. Remember well, we it lost as the day of our most I mean, glorious victory. It was a good portion of our cab, which hurts, but we didn't lose that much. It wasn't too bad. There is no glory in hiding like this. Execute. Hail my king. All right, and this, these guys are hurting too. They're not doing great. Well, actually, technically, they're doing fantastic, if I'm really honest, but you get what I mean. But we need to start making more money, so if there's anything that I could cancel building, that is, I will do that. We'll keep the church because we do actually need the church. Hail my king. Or he's probably gonna attack him right afterwards. Hail my king. Uh, I think that force, though hurting, might be able to take that down there. Sire. You got six Always. turns left. You got five turns. I think you two will be fine. Go ahead and save it. Crusaders. So I don't know how this next turn is going to go. Hail my king. Because I want to start trying pumping out soldiers more, you know. There is no glory in hiding like this, my lord. There is no glory in hiding like this, my lord. Commanding officer cannot lead. What do you mean he can't lead knights? Yes, he can. He's done it before. wasn't the ambush that I was hoping it would be. Kind of sad about that. I was hoping to just leave our king there so we could just keep ambushing their guys, but oh well. Let's Sit up here. I like us having the high ground. The enemy have brought up more men. They hope to make up in numbers what they lack in gallantry. It's not that many more, though. At least I don't think it is. 
It is that many more. Holy shit, that is a huge force. Okay. <laughs> oh shit. Um that's your general there. We're gonna have to strike fast and we're gonna have to strike hard on this if we wanna win. So all of our guys are just gonna have to move forward as quickly as possible. Go boys. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Slain the Saracen Perfect. general. Now we must send his men running back to the desert. Uh, just gonna rush off on you three. Also, you guys come back. Rumble so quickly when put under pressure. I'm kind of surprised. I'm completely honest with you guys. Also, General, come kill their archers. They're kind of annoying. Our infantry can deal with these guys. is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Stick with the group, please. Charge them. You guys want to fight those guys so bad, just focus on them. Okay, the other forces are starting to show up now. That's not great. We're going to have to do the same the tactic. Very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. But Lord, the tide of battle seems to have turned against us. We must act and halt this turn of events. It's fine. Got to do a little bit of changes in the course of battle for defeat Hammer and Anvil, certain. and we should be all right. Our army is tiring. Well, our army is killing a lot of people. All right, maybe we won't want this. Yeah, we're dead. All right, well, that. Lord preserve us. We've been dealt a stinging defeat today. Yep. Shit. That sucks. And that was our king mixed in there too. Entering woods and preparing to ambush. Ah! Yes, my lord. Well, he yes, died sire. valiantly. Tomorrow's journey planned out, sire. Tomorrow's journey planned out, sire. Tomorrow's journey planned out, sire. That sucks. Hail my king! Hail my king! With 
honor, sire. We shall continue tomorrow, my liege. She. That kind of sucks. That's a stinging blow, if I do say so. Five turns, four turns. I'm just going to keep waiting those guys out. Hail, my king. King guy. Hail, my king. Hail, my king. Hail, my king. Yes, please. Hail my king! By your will, sire, we shall engage. By God's will, we have triumphed! Alright, time to get some revenge on them. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. General's bodyguard! Heavy cavalry! Light. Heavy cavalry! Light. 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 cavalry! actually don't have that many cav not as much as i would like but we do outnumber them in terms of infantry so that's kind of good we could definitely use that to our advantage and once again i can't see shit Mostly archers. The generals in their archer unit, so that's not too bad. I want to I don't want to charge right away. Even though I would love to do that. I don't want to do that right away just because I don't want my guys to be caught up in their cab there. So I'm going to hold off on sending my cab in. And I'm going to send infantry in first. Get in there. 
I just want to lock their cab down so my infantry can finish them off. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Slain the Saracen general. Cool. Now we must send his men running back to the desert. Oh, it's time to figure out where the fuck is the rest of their forces at? <laughs> that is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Oh, it's all just archers. It's literally all that they have left is just archers. Or heavy infantry can keep them moving, or cap catch up fill. Come on, get them, boys. The enemy army flees the field. Capture as many as you can. Cool. All right, I'll call it. This is a clear victory that goes to only men. Perfect. Not too bad. No. Dude, this force. This force is starting to get a little fucking hammered. Uh. Yes, my liege. With honor, sire. There is no glory in hiding like this, my lord. Yeah, but you're kind of beaten up, so I would rather you hide right now. Hail my king! Command me, sire! Actually, no, give me cap. I want more cap. This is actually kind of working out to our favor. Hail my king. We'll send another general in there with him. Because that's like an extra 40 man unit of cab there that we could use. Uh, there's still four turns, your three turns. That shouldn't take too much longer. Then we'll have those two towns. I would rather starve them out than actually do like a proper uh, siege battle on this because it just makes things sire. easier. Of course, sire. You can't spy there, sire. Hail my king. All right, I think we're good. They don't fear us, sire. They bring the fight to our walls. Your Majesty. There is something you wish to speak of. We're not currently at war with you, so we'll hold off on the Turks. I want to get to without question, sire. The Byzantines, though. Yes, sire. Where to, sire? With discretion, sire. What are they looking like of over course, here? I think... Approaching quietly. They got to one large army and not sire. much else. Hail what the fucking army king. walked right past us? What the fuck? 
You're supposed to set up an ambush. What the hell is this? I will not waste words on you. Hail my king. As you will, my king, to battle. Glory yeah. to your name, I was going to do a night fight, but now it's better if we just attack ourselves. together, infantry's all together. Archers together, archers, I don't want you in uh, doing that stuff. Alright. Uh, I'm okay with well, we're kind of set up already. I'm completely honest. So let's clean this up a little bit. Alright, cool. Uh, Kai, did you ever play Darkest of Days? It's an FPS about being saved from Little Bighorn by a sci-fi organization that goes through history making sure it stays on track. No, I haven't played that. And it's called Darkness of Days? Huh. I've never played that game, Derek. Here, let me look it up real quick. I'm kind of curious. Oh, I think you've mentioned this game before. Back on the Xbox. Is it on Steam by chance? I'm curious. I'm going to look at this up real quick. Oh, it's not on Steam. Well, shit. Only. Well, that looks cool. It kind of reminds me of the, uh... Uh... I don't know if you've ever seen it, but, like, the old, like, History Channel Civil War games. It kind of reminds me of that. Well, that's cool. There's a Steam community for it. Yeah, I remember the game. Oh, have you played it before Empire Night? I'm looking at it now. It looks cool. I like it. I like how it looks. Like I said, it kind of reminds me of the old, uh, um, like History Channel Civil War games. If you guys ever had a chance to play those. Those games I always thought were really cool looking. But yeah, no, I, I love, I like those old Civil War games. They were fun. For as cheesy as they were, like the old History Channel games, I just thought were a ton of fun. Okay, first things first, actually, before we do anything, is I gotta find where their general is so I know who to attack first. Because he's kind of running all over the place.
Those are camel guys. Uh, where is he? Why do all of your units have to look similar to one another? Honestly, he might actually be in a foot unit, too. Because he's not like your traditional general. He's like just a captain. Yeah, I'm not seeing him anywhere. Like I said, it's just a captain, but still, I would like to know where he's at. All right, whatever. Sorry, I have just done something. What is that, Godard? And hello, welcome. I didn't see when you came in. What have you been up to? Because I played a long time ago. I imagine the game is uh, available via emulation. Yeah, we could probably emulate it. I'd be all right with that. So I'll have to look into it. And while we're at it, I might look at those Civil War games again, too. If I remember what they were called, I just remember it was like History Channel's games. Back when History Channel used to make games, but they were pretty cool. Uh, the part people remember Darkest of Days for is when you have to make a mad dash through Pompeii during the volcano. So they authorize you to use a flamethrower. <laughs> you just burn your way through. I can identify Muslim generals. European ones that wear the plate. But I can no clue how to distinguish Muslim generals. Yeah, same, Derek. I'm having a hard time trying to find them. European generals, that's easy. They were plate mail, you know. You know, they're pretty simple to, pretty easy to find. But the Muslim generals, nah, these guys are kind of an ass. Yeah, they're a pain in the ass trying to find. Which, I mean, I'm sure I could, like, where's my general at, for instance? Yeah, right there. See, our guy's, like, right there. He's super easy to find. But the muzzle ones, like, ah, uh, They're a bitch. I'm trying to figure out where they're at. I just go straight for their missile cap. No. You have a lot of missile cap too. General, what the fuck are you guys doing? Oh my god. Stop. You're gonna get yourselves fucking killed. You are getting yourselves fucking killed. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we'll smash the enemy. Okay, we'll attack this horse first. Our 
men are winning the battle. If we continue like our men have slain the Saracen general. Cool. Now we must send his men running back to the desert. I think another issue that I'm having is like the looks of my units kind of look like theirs to some extent when you look at them from far away. So I'm kind of a have on a hard time figuring out who's who at times. Right, that's my allies. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue cool. and run we them won. down. That wasn't too bad. Could have been a little cleaner, if I'm completely honest. Let's go. We'll just end it there. This is a clear victory that goes to only men of great virtue and valor. Yeah, lost 300. That's not great, though. Uh, Civil War, Nation Divider, or Secret Mission or something. Yeah, a Nation Divider is the one that I played. I remember that one. That was the one. I quite like that one. I have watched all the Simpsons episodes to date. Have you now? Every episode of the Simpsons. I've been watching. I haven't enjoyed any of the episodes since season ten. Oof. Actually, here. My lord, my lord. Sire. We're starting to kind of. We're getting hurt. I think I jumped through the gates. Like way Sire. too aggressively early on in this campaign, hoping to be able to knock the knock Egypt out as fast as I can, and now I'm kind of paying for it if I'm completely honest. Borders. Sire. I also want to. Oh, Discord. I also want a. Uh, I need like a spy up here too. I need to train one up. Give me more knights. I want knights. And infantry. I do need some more infantry. Twenty-four seasons of utter garbage after season ten. Jesus Christ. And you kept watching, but why? If you like, if they weren't good, why did you keep watching? Yes, your highness. In God's name, on my way. Sire, your will, sire. Barbarossa drowns. Oh, that sucks. When's Richard gonna get here? Sire. I want you and you. Come join this force. Combining forces, sire. Turn me up some footmen too. In a church while you're at it. Uh spearmen, because I do actually need some spearmen. I need something to watch when shit isn't happening. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, so you watch every episode of Simpsons. When you didn't have anything to do, you watch that. I mean it works, I can't blame you. But now I, My Lord. I don't pay attention to the Simpsons. If I'm completely honest with you guys, like they just, I don't know. I don't care for it. Borders. 
They're building up another large army. That's not great. But hopefully we will have the same going on here soon. Can I do a night attack? No. Yes, sir. Right. I see no reason why we can't take this down. I, to this day, have never Unit sat down and watched Simpsons, Family Guy, American Dad, or even South Park. Really, Derek? And South Park, I'm running out of interesting shit to watch. At least, oh shit! <laughs> I forgot that it immediately starts. I think I just send my calves straight away, actually. If I could get my calves to lock them down, then I could have my spearmen just kill them. You should probably watch, you know, like how I told you to. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Get out of there, please. All the fucking orders I tell you to do. So, I've seen some Simpsons, not all of it. I've seen a lot of Family Guy, if we but like not this, all of it. Smash the enemy. I haven't actually seen a whole lot of American Dad, and I haven't seen a whole lot of uh, South Park. Honestly, I didn't watch a whole lot of TV growing up. And when I did, it was usually either cartoons or History Channel shit, because I was a weird nerd like that. We'll deal with those guys, will ya? And archers, go shoot them. So, yeah. I don't watch a lot of TV growing up. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Yes, finish those guys off. That's cool. This isn't a very clean battle. Not as clean as I would have liked it to be. No honor. He flees the field of battle. Our men have captured the enemy general. Guard him well and cool. make it so he can see us defeat the rest of his army. It's like the rest of their billet army is just archers, so I think my cap should easily take these guys out. They're archers after all.
saying, but they're in the sci-fi channel. Yeah, I did watch a little bit of sci-fi channel. I just didn't watch them that much. And then my archer should be able to kill these guys pretty quickly. Yeah, I don't know. I just... I wasn't a big, like... TV watcher, I guess, growing up. The battle. All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. Uh. The day is ours, sire. Heeding the call of Christendom, two of Europe's greatest kings, Richard I of England Fuck and yeah. Philip II of France, have arrived in the Holy Land, ready to lead the Third Crusade to glory and help restore the Kingdom of Heaven. Fuck yeah, we got Richard the Lord Lionheart. Sire. Without my Christian personal sire. favorite English Tomorrow's king. Journey Where is he at? Out, sire. Hail my king. Oh, look at him Hail in all his glory. King. The fucking chivalry. He was not a chivalrous person. <laughs> I mean, he kind of was, I guess, but. Leaving the army, oh. sire. By your will, sire, we shall engage. Oh, shit. Why are you by yourself? What the fuck? Glory, honor, order. I mean, I, I shouldn't say he wasn't a chivalrous person, because he kind of was. He was a good guy. But he was also one of those guys who's like, yeah, I don't care about executing prisoners. Fuck it. He had no problem it's doing honor, that. My king. Where the fuck did all these archers come from? Oh, it's because I took the city. That's why. My lord. Sire. But I quite like my Richard. Lord. He's one of my favorite kings. Now, where's Hail my king. Louis at? Is this it? Hail my no, king. That's, that's Guy. That's who we just had. Oh, God, that's a lot. Hang on. Let me... Are you a night fighter, by chance? You're not. Hail my king. Ship's ready. Where is Louie? Wait a minute, it said that he was supposed to be here, right? Where the f Oh! Oh, and it's not Louie, it's Philip, my bad. Philip's with Atronach, okay. Well, never mind, that makes sense. Well, ha, we got the better king. Fuck you guys. We got the cool one. Night, didn't you live on a farm? I do. I grew up on a farm, Godard. Uh, I never watched much of Simpsons outside of the Halloween episode when I was growing up. My favorite show was the Justice League cartoon, Lost Tapes, and Special Unit 2. Justice League is a good cartoon. So was Lost Tapes. Lost Tapes is fucking awesome. I remember that show scared the shit out of me as a kid. Uh, ooh. Orders. How many? Hey, I'm my take, like, king. three, I guess. In a spearman. By your command. Joining forces, my lord. Come help build that force up. Uh, just because you're a bad guy does not make you bad guy. Exactly, Derek. Apparently, morality and ethics of the past was a difficult thing. He was a strong king, though. He was. He is absolutely was a strong king. And that's what I mean. It was like, well, I mean, like his chival like he was chivalrous towards other Christians. Like he was an amazing guy towards other Christians. When it came to Muslims, you know, like he didn't really give a shit. He's just like, ah, fuck it, execute them. Which. We look at that today, and we're like, oh my god, that's so cruel. But then again, 
you gotta remember like how that it was back then where it's like well yeah that's just kind of what you did you executed prisoners everyone executed their prisoners back then i'm actually gonna fight this guy now before the other army shows up so it was one of those things where like you kind of had to do it and like i can't blame them i would do the same thing you know Units, await my orders. When you should have been working to feel like a lizard. <laughs> ah. Then you should have been working to feel like a lizard. I was working the field. I just also watched cartoons. I was a kid, you know. I had my free time. Uh, archers all together. Turn that off. All you guys together. Here, archers up front. Units, march, march in. Infantry right behind. Units, march, and then, actually, Cav, let's have you over here. It's odd seeing an area that has a lot of greenery and trees. Honestly, I think this is the first map we've had that actually has green on it. All the other maps have been deserts. God, they are so far away from us. Okay. Oh my god, and they are so spread out. Where is your captain at? There he is. Okay. You are with a unit of... Spearmen? Not spearmen, but like light spearmen. Light cav, I think. They are all spread out. What the fuck? Sorry, Knight, did you watch the SpongeBob? I did! I love SpongeBob. Lost Tapes, is that the Scooby Doo Blair Witch parody? Uh, no. Lost Tapes is the, like, Animal Planets, like, mockumentary, I guess is what you would call them. Um, it's the, like, Animal Planet doing the whole, like, what if vampires were alive and here's like found footage of vampires or found footage of like werewolves or you know like bigfoot attacking people and here's the like some person got it on tape is basically like a mockumentary type stuff but they would bring in like professional like cryptologists to go in and look at that stuff it was a cool show a little cheesy at times but it was a really cool and fun show i quite liked it Uh, it was still seen as a cruel thing back then. The difference is this is that it was normalized. A lot of people rejected even past ethics. Yeah. Uh, like I said, ethics and morality is difficult to apply. I think it's best to apply the high praise of the past to the people of the past. Strength, wits, and uh, wealth. I agree, Hazar. I absolutely agree. So, and like I said, like Richard's my favorite of the kings back then. Of like all the Crusader kings, he was definitely my favorite. And honestly, the only time, the the one time when he did execute everyone, was just because he put them on ransom and they didn't want to pay. So he's like, "Fuck it, I'll kill them then," and that was it. And you got to remember, like back then, like it makes sense to because you know they're your enemy and if you just let them walk away free, scotch free well now you have another army to fight now same logic kind of applies to this game you do the same thing where it's like oh if you let if i let those uh units go they're just gonna reform as another army and now i'm gonna have to deal with it well if i just execute them then i don't have to deal with them to try to get behind them but man they have 
have so much cap. Let me bring our guys over here. Mine was Vlad the Impaler. Vlad the Impaler is also really fucking cool. I actually quite like him. Again, he's one of those guys where you look at him nowadays and you're like, wow, he's so fucking cruel. He's a horrible person. But at the same time, he saved his kingdom. You know? Well, kind of. He did die, but he tried to anyway. And Vlad the Impaler is another one of my like most favorite kings. Just because of like the duality of Vlad, where like if you go to like say Romania, he's seen as a hero, you know. But if you go to Turkey, he's a villain. So like Turkey, when you ask like, oh, what are you guys thoughts of Vlad the Impaler? Almost every one of them is like, oh, that man is horrible. He's evil. You know, he's son of the devil. He's Dracula, son of the devil. You know, put people up on stakes and murder thousands or whatever. But then you go to Romania and ask him, like, hey, what are your thoughts on Vlad the Impaler? Every person in Romania is like, oh, that dude's a fucking hero. You know, he's Vlad Dracula, the, the dragon, the defender of the West, protectors of the gates. You know, defender of Christendom. Like, he was seen as a hero. And that's, like, my favorite thing about Vlad is because he's, like, the embodiment of, like, that idea of one person thinks that he's a hero another person thinks he's a villain and all it really comes down to is like who you ask but i do think everything that vlad did was justified to an extent was he cruel yeah yeah he could be pretty cruel at times but when you're outnumbered as much as he was you kind of had to be. you know he was playing the whole like morale game like what we do here you know, we're playing, like, we're trying to be as cruel, hit our enemy as fast as we can, be as cruel as possible, and scare Egypt enough where they don't want to fight us anymore. So. It's one of those things to me where, like, you don't really understand how things were back then until you start playing games like Total War or like Civ or like the Paradox games, like Victoria. Because once you start playing those games and getting an idea and like putting your oh shit they're charging us. Like once you start playing those games and like uh, putting yourself in their shoes, then that's the only time you'll never like fully understand them. You know. Uh, let's go ahead and start charging their cab. Where's my cab at? Where do you guys go? The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Why is my shift key not working? Wait a minute. What's, what's going on? Hang on. Well, there it goes. Uh, right. It is kind of to see as a flex if you win a war and never execute, though. Yeah, that's true. That is true. He is nice to his people. He was, Goddard. You're absolutely right. Like, his people fucking loved him. He was kind. Like, his people actually thought, like, he was legitimately kind hearted, good guy. Guys, get out of there. Please, run. Oh my god, why is my cab units fucking stupid sometimes? Just charge. Just get in there. The enemy general flees like the coward. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Just 
shoot him away, I guess. Uh, Vlad was, Vlad was a pause on the Islamic expansion to Europe. Exactly. You know, he was a protector of Christendom, as they say. And that's what I like about him. You know? He did, and on top of that, like everything he did is because he was outnumbered. Yeah. He was that cruel because he had literally no one else to come help him. If we continue like this, we will Which that's kind of, honestly, is kind of shitty because it's like, you know, he is warning Europe multiple times. Like, hey, you know, Ottoman Empire, they're not very good. We should probably do something about it. And like none of the European kings fucking cared. And then, you know, sure enough, they fuck. it happens. You guys, oh, you are I'm trying to kill that unit. Okay. No, oh, fuck it. We'll just have our guys come up top there. That unit's gonna have to come down eventually. Uh, and he killed his enemies. He did. And again, it was all for fear tactics. You know, whatever scared his enemies the most. It's like the Battle of Tittenberg Fords, Force, you know? Where what the Germans did to the Romans. Was it horrible? Yeah. Did it win the day? Yeah. <laughs> was it effective? Fuck yeah, it was. It scared the living shit out of the Romans. To the point where Rome didn't want to fight anymore. And that was kind of the whole point, you know? Was, you don't have to kill your enemy, you just have to scare them to the point where they don't want to fight anymore. Who's still standing? Oh, like this one unit of light infantry. Of like, ten guys. Go kill them. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. We lost 500. That's more than I would have liked. A lot more than I would have liked. Vlad did nothing wrong. I agree, Goddard. Vlad did nothing wrong. No. So, and he, like, so here's the thing. Like, what I was saying, these are the guys I captured. I kept, you know, I can make 2,000 gold. I highly doubt Egypt will pay it. I could oh, ransom all, ransom them, see if I make that money. But then I just have this whole army again to fight. I could release them being really nice. But then I still have this whole army to fight again. Or I could execute them and that army is now gone. You know, like think about it. Like what, what would you do in that situation? To me, it's like, all right, well, my job as a general is then one, win the war. And two, get as many of my boys back home as I possibly can. And if that means killing my enemy, then fuck yeah, I'll do it. Like I said, it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, it can be seen as a dick move, but it is justifiable. Okay, we could just ban that. Uh, we really need our knights. Are they ready yet? We got two units ready. Not great. I want more. Uh, don't take more. Reinforce this army. You're gonna have to reinforce two. Train me more cab, will ya? Same with you. Give me more guys. I'd eat the prisoners. <laughs> nah. I'm fine with killing them. I won't eat them. I might be a horrible, you know, piece of shit, but I'm not a cannibal. We could just ban that unit too. There's not going to be much of this army left for us to do. If I'm completely honest. Hail my king! 
Hail my king! Okay, I'm actually gonna take these guys, put them there, bring you back here. So when that army shows up, he's gonna have to fight both this army and the uh, the castle garrison. That should hopefully buy us enough time to get Richard down here. Hail my king! I can't hire anyone either. That kind of sucks. Uh, funny enough, I ran a poll on Vlad and surprisingly close. Hero edged out just a bit. Oh yeah? See, in my eyes, I would consider him a hero. Because to me, everything Vlad did was for the safety and protection of his people. Yeah, it could have been, you know, bad. Some of the things he did was not great. But at the end of the day, he was the king of Transylvania. Yeah, you know, so his first and foremost priority was the safety and protection of the people of Transylvania. And that was it. That that was all. That was his priority. So he didn't really give a shit. And so in my eyes, like, yeah, that that's that that's what a good leader would do. Yeah, what he did was could have been seen as cruel and harsh, but he did what a leader had to do, especially at that time period. Sire, my lord. Especially when outnumbered as badly as he was. Dude, medieval times feel high moral when compared to the Bronze Age. That's true, Hazar. That that is true. Bronze Age, they would fucking murder each other. No, like with no problems whatsoever. They didn't give a fuck. Uh, do what the uh, Vikings did and sell them into slavery. That <laughs> Okay, so that that's actually a really funny thing. So going back to Richard here, where is he? Hail my so Richard here. So would he executed all of those uh, soldiers that he had caught? Uh, Saladin sent him a letter, and it was a really funny letter because he sent it to him, being like, "Hey, why did you execute all those guys? You could have just sold them into slavery." And Richard's response is, we don't own slaves. And that was it. And it was just kind of a funny little thing where during the medieval age, England, France, and the Holy Roman Empire didn't own, they, they well, actually a lot of Europe, didn't really own slaves. You know, it wasn't really their thing. Spain owned them. Spain, had, well, Spain's not on the map, so I can't zoom in on it. But Spain had slaves. But a lot of the reason why Spain had slaves is because they were right there next to the Moorish Empire. And the Moors would sell slaves to them. So they were like, all right, cool. But France, England, and Germany, or Holy Roman Empire, just didn't really bother with slaves. That wasn't really their thing. And I always found that interesting, how they went from being kingdoms that didn't really care about slaves to then owning slaves during after the like or during like the imperial age when they're building empires and stuff like that but even then you know like there like there was french slaves and there was english slaves but they it was never to the extent of like the spanish the spanish imported slaves fucking everywhere but you never really saw slavery too much from the others and that I always found interesting. Medieval 3 needs to allow us to shove poles up people's butts. I agree. That would be like a scare tactic. I'm surprised that's not a thing. I mean, yeah, you execute people and you can do that. Hail my, hail my king. Which, how's this guy looking? Hail One my chivalry, king. okay. Well, yeah, like you could kind of pretend that like Hail executing is that just oh they fucking lost that city wow oh Egypt you fucking lost well I mean actually I shouldn't be surprised Egypt's not Egypt's uh 
They got a lot of units, but they're not very strong, as I'm kind of figuring out. They just Where there's just a lot are. of them. Of course, sire. And once we get Richard down here, we might finally be able to push a little harder onto these guys. Because I think what they're doing is they're building all their army, you know, get them all together here, and then launch them as one large force, like this guy here. Sire. Watching. So what is mostly your force? You're a decent variety of everything, honestly. <laughs> he may or may not have been a high level vampire that turned people into furniture. <laughs> Yeah, hey, like I said, I mean, if it scared his enemies, it worked. That's all he cared about. Alright, next turn. Oh, of course, they go after that unit. Sire, we should retreat. March to exhaustion, sire. Continuing later. Really? And we're gonna pick on this one unit. Give okay, we're gonna lose, but we might as well try. It'll be really funny if we manage to kill this fucking king. The Lord, the tide we're of not king. Seems to have turned against us. It's we fine. must act and halt this turn of events. If we manage to kill one of their leaders, or not the leader, the 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 I could speak. If we manage to kill the leader, that'd be really funny. All right, there he is. There's no way in fucking hell are we gonna win this. But if we can inflict a good amount of casual, uh, good amount of casualties on him, that would be kind of nice. General has been captured. We must secure his release by defeating our foe. Pray something changes in the course of battle, for defeat seems almost certain. I mean, we were gonna die anyway. I just want to kill as many of them as Lord I could. Lord preserve us. We've been dealt a stinging defeat today. Hey, I mean, we killed a hundred of them. That's a unit. I'll take it. Did you know that in Vampire the Masquerade Blood was the vampire that made people into furniture? No, I did not know that. Alright, we finally take Damascus. The troops are assembled. Prepare for battle. The battle seems to be swinging in our favor. From such tidings does victory emerge. I'll just do this. All right, hang on. Uh, let me reorganize these guys a little bit. That way I know what the fuck I'm clicking on. I don't think their towers are working. It doesn't seem like it, though. Alright. 
But yeah, that's a, that's the other thing I need to do. I need to play Vampire the Masquerade again. It's been a long time since I played that game. The original. I don't know if the new ones ever came out. It should be out, I think. I don't know. But that's a game I haven't played in a long ass time. You know, you guys run, please. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. I mean, I'm a bit better when it comes to, uh, shit, horses move. I'm a bit better when it comes to infantry than I am when it comes to cav units. Badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Go, 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 go. Get in there. Get in there. They're breaking. Capture as many as you can. Come on, move it. Giant knight armor. You're better at I'm better at infantry, you don't say. Yeah, I mean I am. I mean, traditionally knights were a bit more like front or not frontline, but calf focused soldiers. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, but we'll I've always preferred the infantry. Maybe it's my, uh, I don't know, like Wellish ancestry or Our something. Men have taken control of the city. Because the soldiers of Wales was always more so like foot soldiers than they were anything else. That was always kind of their thing. You should be able to butcher these guys quite easily. Come on, there's like three of them. Come on, kill them. There we go. 
All of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. The day is ours, sire. Druna, if you stream it, you must play Malkavania. Uh... Is that... No, that's Nosferatu. I was thinking, is that, is that the different races? Because I know the there's different like types of vampires in that game. Oh, yeah. Fourth Crusade called. Chill, like Third Crusade literally just called. Like, chill. Yes, my lord. Oh, I'm a little off. Yes, sir. <laughs> Richard's still with us, right? Yeah, Hail yes, my cool. king. Yes, my liege. Hail my king. Hail my king. Oh, we both Hail might be able to assault king. him. That's not a bad idea. Send both forces at him. Not a bad idea at all. And we need walls, so I'm gonna. We need upgrades in general. In churches. We're kind of, kind of neglecting these guys. So I'm sorry, towns. Okay, yeah, so it is a subtype of vampire. And the most fun thing to is the saint and high vision of some prophetic. Some just madness. Oh, yeah. See, I was thinking they were the, like, butt ass ugly ones. But the ugly ones, then I was remembering, like, well, wait a minute, aren't the ugly ones the Nosferatus? Because they're, you know, Nosferatu. But I do need. I want to play that game again. It's been a long time since I played it, and it was a fun game. I liked it. God, I want more crossbowmen. Yeah, that's what I remember is that they were the the Nosferatu. Because they're supposed to look like Nosferatu. And the hardest race to play. I yeah, I'm sure they are the hardest race to play, honestly. I mean they're one of the ones where like as soon as people see like you literally can't be seen if you play Nosferatu. Which that's uh, you know easier said than done. Uh, let's... How do I want to do this? Let's Turkey there. I don't want to declare war on Turkey just yet. Oh yeah, give me a freeze. But I need... I want a diplomat. That worked. God's servant. I like the wolf-like vampires. Those guys are pretty cool too. Where to, sire? Oh, I want it. Oh, I want. With I want this sire. town because there's so little of it. I could very easily take that. Approaching. Okay, well, they have another I army here. I'm guessing he's on his way back down here. They'll, they're building up another force. 
Um. Hail my king. I think sending our forces here to deal with this guy is probably the best choice. Have both our kings, or not kings, both our generals take him out. I think that would be the best choice there. Best course of off, uh, action. Do that and then send both of them across. And slowly start taking Egypt over. I don't remember where all their settlements are either, unfortunately. And I also don't think Egypt has a navy. Doesn't seem like it anyway. For the grace, for the grace for the mighty of our Lord, for the home of the holy, for the faith for the way of the sword. Give your life so boldly. <laughs> hey Twitch, how are you? You've ever seen what Zev is typing Kai? I am. Unfortunately, I don't have a singing voice. Hail my king. Alright, Richard. Hail my king. With Get honor, there. Sire. Hail my king. You come here. Yes. And we fight them together. Will, if, can we do a battle. night fight? Well, not really. Glory to your name, sir. We attack. Should easily do this. Units, await my but how have you been, Zeb? Which is the bastion? Uh, I'd rather the high ground, but I'm kind of getting tired of fighting on fucking mountains. <laughs> We've been doing it so much lately. Oh, there's not a lot of cab left in this army. She, you're almost all infantry. Which, I mean, isn't bad, but not great either. Yeah, fuck it. We'll put our guys up top, I guess. Maybe. Actually, no. Fuck it. See so we try and bring them down below here. You know, let's put our cap on this side. There. And our boys Richard is right here with us. Perfect. Oh, they're absolutely gonna force us to push the hill. Hell, sir, Knight. Well met. We Clemson heretics or what? We are. We've been having a good run against the the filthy Muslims, which is just Egypt. We we've been having a good run against Egypt. Uh, we've been oh, fucking really. <laughs> Their general's on foot. Okay, well we're gonna kill him easily. <laughs> we've been having a really good run against this so far. Uh, we've lost only a handful of battles, but so far everything we've done, we've been winning pretty well. 
turns out Egypt does not have like uh like morale <laughs> like at all <laughs> they kind of suck which I mean to be fair they suck in the base game too but like right now it's just kind of like oh god Richard please don't Richard, please pull your guys back. I don't need you charging the battle and getting them fucking killed. I wish. I wish I had the option to control him. That would be really nice if I had the option to control these soldiers. night you should probably rephrase that that sounds a bit xenophobic <laughs> I mean it's what we are we're we're killing the Muslims slash Egyptians I mean that's the whole point it's the Crusades it's not entirely wrong But yeah, you are kind of right. What I like, I realized that as I was saying it, I'm like, oh, this doesn't sound right. <laughs> that kind of sounds a little fucked up. <laughs> All right, Richard. Now move forward. Now that my boys are moving, Just don't send your cab forward, please. Not without. Like, I want us to attack together. Our guys are getting torn to shreds right now. Fuck. Alright, Richard, attack. Let's do this. I thought he was gonna... Fucking Richard, move! Yeah, but it's the dirty part that makes it sound really bad. Yeah, like I said, I realized that as I was saying, I'm like, wait a minute, this doesn't sound right. Because <laughs> usually it'll be something like, oh yeah, we're killing the filthy aliens or whatever whenever I play, like, Warhammer. But then I was playing, and then I realized, like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> so, Nate, have you played Morhal? I have played a little bit of more, Hal. Uh, context is key from a crusader perspe crusade's perspective. This phrase is perfectly accurate. That's true. My cab just got fucking torn apart by his archers and shit. Richard, are you gonna move forward? Like, at all? I want, okay, well you're kinda of moving forward. Am 
my archers aren't engaging yet. See, I like here's the thing. Like, I wish I had both forces because one, he has more cap than me, and two, his units are just in better shape in general than I do, than mine. All right, Egypt's committee. Go, 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 go. They're committing on uh, Richard. Go. Uh, that's archers, archers. Fucking missile cap. God damn it. Fucking hate you guys. You're more of annoyance than you are anything else. Our ally lies dead, slain by the enemy. We must help his men avenge him. I want to restart this battle. Fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? What happened? Like, Richard the Lionheart fucking died. See, I thought the AI was smart enough to not to do dumb shit, but... Well, actually, wait. This is total war we're talking about. The AI is not smart at all. The fuck am I talking about? <laughs> But fuck. <laughs> that that sucks. I didn't even get a chance to fucking use him. And he's like one of the better generals. Oh, that's frustrating. That is like ridiculously fucking frustrating. Oh, that sucks. Well, shit. <laughs> Have you ever read the book Eaters of the Dead? I have not, Empire Knight. I have not read that. This one. Hello. This vault tech. How have you been? Long time no see, man. What have you been up to? <laughs> the unexpected Monday way he just died is somewhat historically accurate. Kind of. Just got back. Did Richard die? He did. Richard fucking died. I don't even know how either. Like This is his unit here. I have no idea what the fuck happened. He just got the message that he died. I'm like, wait a minute. Like, did you die charging archers? Is that how he fucking died? Which, I mean, in real life, yeah, he died to a crossbow bolt through his shoulder, but... I didn't even get a chance to fucking play him. That's the frustrating part. I was planning on him being one of my lead generals. And, you know, obviously that's not gonna fucking happen now. Enemy general lies dead. Good riddance to that Saracen desert dog. Please slow down. Teach him to ride to war on a pony. Where's my cat at? Yeah, they're retreating. They're retreating the forces. Are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Tis but a flesh wound dies ten minutes later. <laughs> it, I mean, in a sense, that's kind of what happened with them. Behold how our cowardly foe Stand This is battle. a clear victory that goes to only men We fucking crushed them, but at the cost of losing Richard sucks. I can't believe that fucking happened. Oh, I'll 
I'll take your fucking cab units, I guess. Joining forces, my lord. Sire. My lord. Orders. Let's replenish our soldiers now. I guess that's the bright side about losing him, is now I have his army that I could just use to replenish my own forces with. Probably just been you. You're just mercenaries. My lord. Yes. Not enough movement points. All right. God, that that mm, that is frustrating now. Casualties were had for sure. As long as you don't hear, come back here. I will bite your legs off. You're safe. <laughs> but I want to hear that. That would have been coming from my own guys. Well, I need I still need infantry, so that kind of works out, I guess. Yes. We're combining I think it's into a huge force, and Then I need this army st My lord. to start moving Orders. or something. My lord. Sire. Sire. the whole force as you wish and then we will take you you Sire. you Orders. you you Sire. oh wait i can't take any more than that uh you already have archers so i can leave the archers and i'll just take Orders. the cav My Lord. yeah that'll work Sire. yes sire damascus chill all right My Lord. And we'll send this army down. Um, I don't really have anyone to lead him, though. Hey, you. You. I don't want to auto-manage. Casualties were had. Who do we command? We were commanding Guy. Guy Rogers is who we were commanding. He was the lower of the two. So in that battle, he had the weaker army and he had the lower stats. So I figured, like, all right, well, I'll take him. Like, I'll, I'll lead him because I could do better than the AI could. And then the AI just threw away Richard the Lionheart. And I'm just like, what? <laughs> Why? An order. Like Your how? As you yes. What the fuck? <laughs> Sire. Orders. Sire. Orders. Okay. Uh, Sire. I could take. My lord. Sire. Sire. Well, you guys are pretty much full now, aren't you? Yes, Send one there. My lord. As you Send wish. one there. We can go no further today. Send Find one there, command. just to kind of help with Garrison. My lord. Probably should send one there too. If I could, you know, train up more guys. Disloyal. We'll pass on him. Here, I'll take the Templar's Guild. Orders. As you wish. 
March to New army sire. moving. Continuing later. Two more knights. If King Richard is dead, won't England be kind of pissed? They would be. I would be. If Richard fucking died. Your Majesty. Without question. Is there something I can do for you, noble lord? Yeah, map information. What do you think? No. I don't see how this can work. Oh. Yeah, that that's Both that works. And generous of you to agree. Cool. We are now allies with the Byzantines. That that works for me. Would seem you are very reasonable. Sir. Yes, sire. And we got trade Tomorrow's rights with them. That's planned cool. Out, sire. How is Egypt the well? Actually, no, it makes sense. I was gonna say, how is Egypt the one with the most finances at the moment? But then I remember, like, wait a minute, Egypt's whole army is just a bunch of cheap units. They have a lot of units, but all their units are cheap. And that's kind of how they've been maintaining their military. Your will, sire. Yes. Right. Come on. Uh, uh, I want more cab units. Got three archers. I guess give me two knights and two spearmen. That'll work. Marching, sir. Nope. Don't use Syrians. We can't. Christian units only. Sir Richard's deed will be sung in song and glory of ages henceforth. You are right on that, the Vashon. You are absolutely right on that. You'll be forever remembered, even though he died in a fucking shit off way. That was bullshit. Yes, sir. Full sail. Fleet ready, sire. Set sail. Oh shit. A fine day to sail. Oh, we're not. Yes, oh, we did win that. Yeah, fuck you. <laughs> it's like their one navy ship. I just went out of my way, destroyed it, and just leave. That one army's now lost in the fucking desert. I was gonna say that was the first naval ship I've seen them have. Orthodox Christianity. FTW. Yeah, I mean they're orthodox. It's still Christianity, so. I consider it as part of the run. We're like, all right, they're Eastern Orthodox, but I'll still take them. They're still Christian, and I still have to take out all the Islamic Empire, which is basically Egypt and Turkey right now. It's just going a bit slower than I would have liked. My lord, uh, you could probably take him on, honestly. They just keep sending so many units at me at once. That's kind of what's slowing us down. It reminds me of... It actually does kind of remind me of the... Uh, the orc playthrough we were doing. My king. In the Elder Scrolls Total War. Where, like, I've... Like, we were winning battles. We were winning battle after battle. But it's just the fact that they just never stopped sending guys at us. Is what slowed us down. He's like, please, stop. Alright, his yes. horse is pretty much good to go. Move! Your will, sire. By your command. Alright. You're an ally with the inheritors of Rome. Well, Eastern Rome. Yeah, I mean. To be fair, the Byzantines did believe it themselves to be sire. Roman. Tomorrow's journey planned out, sire. 
And I should have a uh, diplomat somewhere around here. Yes, your highness. I'm gonna freeze. Oh, I trained up a diplomat. Yeah, your there we go. Sire. I'm both of these guys. I need map information. But no, you're right, Tech. You're right. They are technically the inheritors of the Eastern Roman Empire. Nah, no, of course he fucking runs away, you little shit. Victory is my king. Well, we're... Mm. Will, to war, then, sire. <sighs> can't do night Muster your courage, man. Yeah. Why we can't you? Into battle. I'm craving Reese's Cups. Empire and I, I'm always craving Reese's Pops. Or Re Re Reese's Pops. Reese's Cups. I mean, any Reese's stuff is good. I like Reese's. Alright, let's put you guys together. You guys together. And you guys together. The old world meets the new to cleanse the filth of false prophets. It's important to embellish history a bit. To embarrassment can be overlooked. <laughs> True. While land guerrilla warfare has often been shown to outplay overwhelming force. Reese's pubs, Reese's pubs. <laughs> that is true, Sebastian. Though, so, you're right on that. that Oftentimes, guerrilla forces tend to work better. It's like what we were talking about earlier today, where it's like Vlad the Impaler, and how like yeah, he used a lot of like horrible tactics, and he was oh not horrible tactics as in his tactics were bad, his tactics were well sound. It's just he used a lot of like horrible shit, but it won the day, especially when you're fighting against a force like the Ottoman Empire, where he's outnumbered like five to one. The entire time, please, units work. Oh, these mountains are not great. The cab over here. Archers could sit like just above, I guess. Oh, work. Let's see if he comes at us. Egypt's been playing really defensively lately. Is that there? No, that's not their general. Where's your general? There's your general. Oh, your general's fucked. <laughs> He's not in a very big unit. I somewhat agree 99% of Reese's stuff is good except for Reese's Pieces. Oh, you don't like Reese's Pieces? I like most of them. Granted, I'm a huge peanut butter fiend. So anything with peanut butter in it, I fucking love. Brutal tactics. Exactly, Tech. You used brutal tactics, but they were effective and they won the day. And at the end of the day, you know, as long as you're winning, that's kind of what matters, right? Because can't, same could be said for like, say, Sherman's March. When he marched across the South, burning everything in his sight, 
Was it brutal? <laughs> Fuck yeah, it was. But then it won the war. Yeah. Yeah, it won the war. And if you think about it, like, yeah, it may have won the war, but also, like, it... He may have destroyed so much stuff, but he also could have... He may have saved more lives by doing that. Because he brought the South to its knees. He made it where, like, okay, they can no longer fight. He ended the war quickly. That means less lives lost over time. You know, ultimately it was seen as a good thing, or I see it as a good thing. Well, it's kind of in that same boat where, like, yeah, the tactics that they used were brutal, but it ended the, well, it didn't end the war with Vlad. Vlad died, but it was effective. It scared his enemies. They didn't want to fuck with him anymore. Same with Arminius when he was fighting the Romans. The tactics he used against the Romans were, you know, absolutely brutal, but it won the day. And Rome stopped fucking with Germany afterwards. So, I guess you could say it was effective. Uh, just keep moving our guys forward, I guess. I should just remember him, maybe, yeah. <laughs> well, where is Romania today on the war stage? That's true. Romania is not really seen much nowadays. They're kind of forgotten about. And then again, a lot of Eastern Europe is kind of forgotten about. Why are my knights just chilling here? Go down. What are you guys doing? Come on. Egypt, fucking move, please. I'm tired of you being the one who has to march my army to you. I mean, it makes sense. That's kind of the way that they fought back then, but still, it's tiresome. Nile River Valley is one of the handful of cradles of civilization I defended to the nines too yeah I agree I would as well so can't blame Egypt for defending that area granted they're not really I mean they're defending they're playing defensively but they've been they're, all, they're playing defensively on the maps like this on the battle maps but on the actual overworld map, they've been like super aggressive going up against us. And I've just been cutting them down constantly. Oh, I absolutely agree. I love peanut butter. It's one of my favorite things in the world. It's just for some odd reason, Reese's Pieces just taste weird to me. Eh, fair enough. Reese's Pieces are great. Oh, well, that's bad. Is the new Reese's that just is a Reese's cup with a single potato chip in the middle. They were all on sale at Croker's. What the fuck is that? That sounds disgusting. I've, well, I mean, I try it. Egypt, please. Don't fucking do this. Oh, you guys are fucking pissing me off. I do find it funny that the army I'm doing the most work with in this game is the one with the weakest leader. Team's got a bomb brand, I guess. But yeah, that sounds so weird. Um, Reese's Pieces with a peanut butter, or not peanut butter, with a potato chip in the middle. That's so odd. Only had that doesn't sound appetizing to me. I had a peanut butter and apricot preserved a sandwich with some English tea for breakfast. I forgot how much I like peanut butter. I agree, Sebastian. That sounds good. 
apricot jelly and peanut butter. We used to do that with our apricots. We would make, uh, actually wait now, Cav, I want you to sit a little bit more here. I don't, those are two missile units. I don't want you fighting them by yourself. Times before Geneva Convention. Yeah, I know, right? Uh, I actually really like the Reese's Cups with the potato chips in the middle. Really? It's just the, that just sounds so odd. Oh my God, are they backing up again? They are fucking are. Starting to move their archers up. This is it? Are we doing it? Germany wasn't conceivably conquered without controlling rolled roads against barbarians. You're right. That was the only way they were able to really kind of do anything to Germany. Was that they had to control the roads that were going in and out of it. Fucking get out of there. Oh my god, we are losing so many knights because you are just being stupid, General. Run, have your men fucking run. All right, we're just gonna have to charge him. Oh, there's so many fucking archer units. That's why we keep losing guys, keep getting torn apart by their fucking archers. in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory will be ours. Find the general fucking kill him as quickly as you boys can. Retreating, we're fucking doing fine. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Then we'll come back. is very much in our favor. Our men have slain the Saracen Perfect. general. Now we must send his men running back to the desert. Does everyone come crashing down on this unit, will you? I'm fucking tired of this shit. Men keep getting shot the bits. It's fucking 
pissing me off. The battle is the enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Capture them. Alright, that's enough. We are victorious. That was a horrible Our battle. Have fought and died well today. God, that was such a shit battle. Romania got featured in the Hostel films. Oh. Uh, did you have an apricot tree in the yard? Yeah, I have a few apricot trees. My lord. So, now I have quite a few. Sire. Well, quite a few. It's not like I have a whole lot, but... Sire. All right, well, that was a shit battle. To be a war strategist toying with the lives of thousands. How unfeasible. I know, right? Command me, your will, sire. Orders. Gotta start disbanding some of these units. Sire, an order. I an guarantee order. you, all these guys are gonna come here and gang up on this guy. My king. Hello, Turkey. What the fuck do you want? Night fighter, I'll take him. Crusader sack Zara. New mission, the Turks. Alright. We can go talk to him for a bit. Yes, my lord. Always good to see you, mon ami. How can we help? You enjoy holding us to ransom like this? It was a I good trade. What the fuck are you talking about? Approaching their dignitary, sire. Mm. More than one of those trees, a whole ass load of fruit. Goddamn. Yeah. Well, Sebastian, I grew up on a farm, so we had like apple, we had apricot, apples, nectarines, plums, peaches, uh, cherries, grapes, olives. What else did we have? Blueberry, blackberries, uh, raspberries, strawberries, pomegranates. And then like your regular like veggie stuff, tomatoes, onions, lettuce, broccoli, kale. We we had a lot of shit. I grew up on a farm. We had all kinds of shit. <laughs> you end up giving that shit away to the neighbors. Yeah, that's what we ended up doing with a lot of it. Is just give it away to friends and family. We got here. Yo, spies, why do you die so fucking quickly? An order, my lord. Yes, my king. All right, we need to like train up some of the guys, more guys, or something. Nice 
to Jerusalem. Yes, we need that. I was in another tab and heard, hey turkey, what the fuck do you want? And my mind just conjured an image of a dude in the outskirts of town just confronting a rogue turkey like the sheriff from Rambo. <laughs> oh, you're not wrong, Derek. I've talked to animals God's like that. Snapped. Really, hey, what do you guys want? I think but fruit wasn't the main crop the shot we got from the yard. Ah, yeah. Now we just had a lot of like a little of everything. Oh, oh, we could. Oh, this is going to be bullying. Oh, but we can do it. <laughs> An order. We oh, you bitch. You, of course you run away. My Lord. Sire. I was gonna s just have this one dude fight all three of my armies at once. I like how this is. I have three large armies and they just have like a shit ton of armies. But they're all little armies. Uh, I like a few of Eli Roth's films. Usually I find him kind of boring. I like Caddy Fever original and I like the Death Wish remake with Bruce, Bruce Willis. So if like Green Inferno I hate. Ah, I haven't seen any of those movies, Derek. Like I said, I didn't really watch a whole lot of, of movies and TV growing up. I've heard of them. Like I've heard of the Death Wish movie. And in particular the remake one that you're talking about. I've heard of that one. But never seen it. Uh, Cabin Fever is nearly perfect in that it was trying to do. I mix feelings about Green Mile and Thanksgiving. Ah. I didn't mind Green Mile. Or, oh, you meant Green Inferno. Green Inferno is an Indian that made me hate it. When she starts going, all don't hurt the cannibals. They ate your crew. <laughs> Wait, she was okay with defending cannibals? They fucking killed her friends. Fuck them. My king, orders. By your com command, me sire. Yes, sire. Moving to crush the enemy. No night attack. Show no mercy! Right. Kill them all! Another battle. Yeah, there's been so many battles tonight. Shit. I mean, it's total war. What do you expect? But... I'm hoping I eventually get to the point where I want to have to fight every single turn. I could just focus on moving troops around for a little bit. Oh, we have a lot of archers in this army. Okay. I don't know how I feel about that. I would rather infantry over archers because Jerusalem's archers are kind of ass. Is it torture porn? Yeah, see, I don't. Like I said, those are movies that I never really watched. What the fuck is going on here? They're kind of caught right in the middle of us, aren't they? Oh 
Okay. Well, where's your general at? Where is he running off to? Not that it matters. I think he's just a captain, so I don't think he's all that important. There he is. He's in an archer unit. Okay. Cabinet boys. That's not really much of a charge, but okay. Take him out, take him out, take him out. Where's our general at? He's in an archer unit. I don't see which one though. Hang on, we gotta look around here for a little bit for him. Uh, where? There he is. The enemy general has no arm. He flees the field of battle and abandons his men. Our men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Yeah, and kill him. Kill him, kill him, kill him. Our men there we go. The enemy general. Perfect. Guard him well and make it so he can see us to the rest of his army. Let's kill the heavy cap, that might work a little better. Infantry, come back, please. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. All right, well, that it's worked out well. The attack. Everyone start catching shit. I do think that we this is a probably victory. need more it goes to only men of great virtue and valor. Oh, we barely lost anything. That was a great battle. Fuck yeah. You're not a film guy, but I think you like talk or 
Ah, meant for a morbid enjoyment. Sorry, I'm catching up on chat real quick. I was kind of got too focused on the battle real quick. Uh, anyway, where were we? Uh, don't worry about spoilers. Yeah, I don't usually care about spoilers, honestly. Uh, I'm one of those people who are like, spoilers don't do anything for me. So, talk about them as much as you like. I don't really care. Actually, usually, I might be a little weird. Because sometimes I actually enjoy things more when I know, like, when I ha hear the spoilers. You guys ever have that? Where it's like, you hear about the death. It's like, rather than going in blind, it's almost like you know the destination, you know what's going to happen, but you're more interested in how it gets there, you know? That's how I am with certain spoilers. Sometimes I like I actually enjoy uh, spoilers more. I can't. I really do anything else. Just gonna do it. I get a little beat up, didn't he? Orders. Yeah, uh, Kai, do you watch Hollow Life? I do. I do, Sebastian. I quite like Hollow Life. I usually watch the Ian girls more nowadays. I don't watch the JP girls as much as I used to. But, uh, Hollow Life was like what got me into VTubers, like many people. In particular, it was, uh, the clip that got me into VTubers was actually Miko's, like, Grand Theft Auto one. I think we all know that one. That was the one that got me into VTubers. I have a friend like that with the spoilers thing. Yeah, see? I'm one of those people who are like that too. Or I was like, yeah, spoilers don't bother me. I should build merchants. I just realized that I don't have merchants and I should probably use those guys. Let's, uh, let's get a few trained up. And I think as long as these two are side by side, they should be all right. Because then two are, when one fights, the other fights too. So I'm okay with an army like that. And it depends on the film, but yeah, I see a ton of play-by-play -play views, and I still want to see the full movie. I know how Lady Snowball, Snowblood, part one ended, but I still love the film. Exactly right. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, they took it. Shit, that's actually kind of a threat now. Fuck, because now they can send an army up north. Oh, I should have taken that when it was a rubble city. Because that would have secured my southern front. Well, fuck. Oh well. At your service. Uh, you're twenty. You're five. You're twenty. Uh, you're fifty-eight. That's that's worth something. Tomorrow's yeah, let's do the gold. Society. Uh, did you see Fauna's elephant victory? Yeah, I did see that. I thought that was funny as can be, honestly. I shall continue tomorrow, my dear. 41. 46. Yeah, that'll work. But now, I like that. 
her elephant victory where she just spammed elephants and crushed everyone around her. She didn't even mean to do it, it just kind of happened. She's like, oh, okay, well, I'll just keep using elephants, I guess. They seem to work. And, oh, worked as they did. My lord. As you wish. Yeah, there we go, I have two units there for defense. I, I, I want an army that could push down here. But I think these three armies just do like a blitz. If we manage to kill this guy, that is their main general from the looks of things. He is their big general right now. If we kill him, we might be able to push pretty hard into Egypt. So I'm willing to take that chance. Wait, wait a minute. Who needs it more? I think you kind of need okay. it more, actually. Or maybe not. You're an alright force. I actually kind of like this force. Uh. Yeah. Command me, you. Uh, you're fine as is. Marching, sir. Why would you go that route? Are I you don't... fucking stupid? Yes, sir. Yes. Your will, sir. Sire. By your command. Yes, sire. Orders. Oh, that's fucking stupid. That. Command me, sire. <laughs> Move. Okay, whatever. He gets lost. It's fine. The other thing about their collab that I really like about that Sebastian, was how Kiara went like full German and declared war on both fronts and then got her ass handed to her. I was just like, yep. Sounds about right for the German girl to do something like that. Got a couple of knights in here. And a church. I need to start building more churches. I think that's good for now. Oh shit. The fourth crusade going on, so Constant the novels again in our ass. Without case. question, sire. Yes, sire. Or maybe. Yes, sire. Oh no, I don't see any crusaders over there. Okay, maybe not. I thought like a rogue faction was gonna go. Oh my god. My king. Holy shit. Um. <laughs> That's a lot of fucking armies. Yes, you come on. <laughs> My guys can't really move. An order. We shall slaughter them, my lord. <laughs> Your will, sir. To okay, war, sire. Everyone stay As together. You command me orders. We can't do it, sire. It's gonna be three v nine. Three v nine. Unfortunately, my guys can't really move a whole lot either. And I don't want to fight their general. I would rather fight all these guys by themselves. My 
Alright. We'll wait because if they had to declare on one of them, they're gonna have to declare war on all three. Or battle or whatever it is. Give me a couple more knights. Oh, are you guys arguing about horror movies? <laughs> yeah, I don't watch a whole lot of horror movies. So. Saw. I've only ever seen like the first and second Saw. I haven't seen the others. And there's like quite a few in there. Uh, Kira, Kira basically rage quit. Had me die. Yeah, she did basically rage quit. <laughs> the supercut makes it so much funnier that no one had any idea that anyone else was doing beyond crony building an artifact. Hey, I know, right? That was the best part. Is like, like, crony starts building an artifact, and then everyone just goes fucking ham and starts declaring war on each other. <laughs> Their port blockaded, sire. Okay, I'm gonna save this. Go. Let's just wait, Turkey, come up to me and be like, yo, let's both fight Egypt. Tomorrow's oh, yeah, there they are. Out, There's sire. Venice. Tomorrow's journey planned out, sire. How is Egypt still making money? I thought I don't understand. Oh yeah, our knights are done. Or stables, whatever. Our knights stay oh god, we are broke as fuck. <laughs> I got one cold. <laughs> that's that's cool. <laughs> oh, we are surrounded by all sides. Oh, this is glorious. Um Shall slaughter them, my lord. Such is the fate of all who oppose us, my king. Yes, sire. Moving to crush the enemy. Your will, sire. Yes, sire. Command me, sire. Yes, sire. Moving to crush the enemy. All right, here we go. Can I do it? Oh wait, you can't night fight. Who can night fight? Only any of you guys can, can you? Oh, I can't control this one. Actually, nah. I'll let the AI do it for now. It's not like we're fighting that big of a force. We shall utterly. This first are the only good ones. Oh, are they? Oh, this is fucking desert, desert. Okay. Well, at least it's somewhat flat. I haven't had a flat map in a while. I'm getting tired of all the mountains. So the only first three are good ones, huh? I don't want to sound weird, but I have no idea what the hell Hollow Light is. No, Empire Knight?
Hollow Life is uh they're like the big VTuber group. They're the one that like everyone kind of knows. I know you don't really watch a lot of VTubers, but they're that's kind of their whole shtick type thing is that they are the ones that popularized it. I straight up can't see a fucking thing. <laughs> God damn, what is with maps like these recently? Oh. Oh, you're just all archers. You're like all archers. Okay, oh, what's this one over here? You're like all cav. You're just cav. And then this one is at least a mixture of archers and cav, but okay, so it's like whatever, I guess. I could probably just let my allies kill everyone, I'd be alright. I originally saw, saw some of them short for 3D. This is 3D dark, it's a film used very pink blood, which on normal viewing looks terrible. Oh, is that right? Uh, just start attacking, guys. <laughs> it's gonna take a while until all three of our armies get, well, six. It's 3v3. Call it that. Bird bunny girl, the teapot reincarnated girl, and the wholesome Bao Bao twins. The Spurg bunny girl. Which bunny girl is that? Because all of them are batshit crazy. The guys are coming down here. I'm assuming Pippa. But yes, Pippa's one of my favorite VTubers. I love that girl. Go, go, go! Pippa. Yeah, okay, so yeah, you were talking about Pippa. I've, I figured as much. Pippa, Pakora, Punkalopi, I know, right? All three bunny girls, all three start with P, all three weird as fuck. But that's kind of their charm. The battle is very much in our favor. Okay, well, if we remain I think our ally pretty much has the other battle to down. We could come to this one. I have no idea where your fucking leader is. Or do I really care? This is why I kind of need more cap, right? Because guess these maps are just kind of... They're so large and their armies are so mobile that I need a, like, a super mobile army to fight back. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field of battle and abandons... 
I said, George, we've captured the enemy's general. That'll teach the cowardly dog to... The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. All right. Our army needs to get the fuck out of here. Our cat's kind of getting their ass kicked now. Since they don't have any support from anyone else. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Alright. Uh, I'm back tonight and I have a question. Sure, Godar, what is it? Does your knightly order take conscripts? The enemy army Never really the thought fight. of it, but nah. Probably not. I mean, squires. We'll do that if people want to join the can. Hey, archers still aren't shooting. What the fuck? Something. I'm trying to move the camera. There. Thank you. Coming after us, so fuck it. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. The enemy general has no honor. He flees the field. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. It's time to press the attack. I should just let my allies do everything else. Fuck it. Hey, we got the gun. I just feel bad because whenever I turn into Pippa, something bad happens. The bit where she got upset with a money donation, and again, when a YouTuber came out fake doctor as a joke. Oh, yeah. I almost forgot that. I kind of forgot that fucking happened, honestly. That was stupid. And I love Pippa, too. My only problem with... Well, I, it's not really my problem with Pippa. It's like, the only problem that I have when it comes to Pippa is that her and I stream up around the same time, so I always miss her streams nowadays. But unfortunately, this is the only time I have free time, so. Yeah. But I always watch her this mods, so. This is a so. clear victory that goes to only men of and great virtue and we fucking stomped them, as we should have. We fucking out absolutely outnumbered these guys. No! Such is the fate of all who oppose orders. Yes. My king. Marching, sir. My lord. To war then, sire. Oh god, you're in the middle of them. Get out of there. We shall slow my lord. Okay, that works slightly better. As you wish. Okay. Sire. Okay, we're all around the big guy now. Maybe, Command just me, maybe. Yes. We, uh, he fucking retreats. Order. Fuck you. Orders. Yes. Command Fine, you me, sit sir. there. As you command. Your Everyone's got their. An order. Everyone's sir. got each other's backs. All right, cool. It's <laughs> the only way to do this, but you have a fucking force this big. <laughs> At least we're slaughtering the fuck out of them. Kai, please get a Streamlabs. I want to tip you a meter or two, but PayPal is shit. I, well, 
Doesn't Streamlabs run through uh, Stream Element though? Or not Stream Element. Doesn't Streamlabs still use PayPal? Because that's like how Stream Elements works. Stream Elements forces you to use a PayPal. And I thought Streamlabs was the same thing. Or same way. Yala, my lord, my king. Okay, we're gonna have to sit this one out. Hopefully my boys can hold. Pitbull up, I hope her camping adventure goes well. Same. I hope her camping adventure is, goes fine. Despite your honorless <laughs> Become a vassal? Speak with you this day. I have a better idea. Um, you become my vassal. And I offer you map information. The Sultan has killed men for lesser insults. <laughs> what? I was going to give you a map if you've become my fucking bitch. That's a good trade, right? I give them a map, they become my bitch. It's a fantastic trade. This bodes poorly for our future. Ah, oh, fuck off, Egypt. Marshall or Hanson. Yeah, sure, I'll take this dude. He seems cool. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why are there so many of you? I think he, like, purposely on, me, destroys sire. his larger armies to become small. Yes. Anyway, you're Hail one my star. King. My king. Night fighter, I will take you. You, you will be fine. Also, Sir Knight, if I am your squire, do I get health care and paid? Uh, no. <laughs> Not quite. Unfortunately, I can't afford to pay people. Because I, although I might be a knight, I am a very poor knight. Come on, me, sire. Yeah, let's see. You, you can take these guys with you. And these guys with you. And we'll slowly start building another force here. Sire, you kind of make it. You're not great, but you'll make it. <gasps> oh, they left. I could take that easily. Okay, that's this force that we're building here, Long Champ. Which, what a fucking name, John Long Champ. What a champ. Uh, he's gonna be the one to come down here and take this down. And then we'll push even further west. Uh, meanwhile, these three just My king. fuck around, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> just hang out. Let them keep fighting you. Your will, sire. To battle it is then, sire. Sire. Marching to war. My lord. They keep running it away. That's the thing that gets me. Victory! Yes, sir. Just moving to trust the enemy. Yeah, the fucking pressure. I figured it out. Okay, this force is starting to get a little beat up. Granted, I did auto-resolve that last one, which I probably shouldn't have, if I'm completely honest with you, because now I see that my force got the shit kicked out of them. Oh, AI, why can't you manage an army properly? An order. Okay. Sire. Yes, sire. Your will, sire. Order. You guys can't. Oh no, shit! Yes. He's gonna be left behind. No. Nah. Okay. Plug up the hole. Everyone's got each other's back. One goes to war, he brings the other three with other two with them. This has actually been working out kinda well, I'm not gonna lie. This has actually been really nice. Makes sense you're not a knight. 
it makes sense you're a knight, not a lord. Exactly, poker face. Uh, wait, what? I used two layers of linen. Oh, did I miss something? Not envious as your Oh, I love the cold though. Only cat because of goddamn the cold. Oh, is it super cold right now? An order, sire. Yes. I suppose you do that. Yeah. Warming up into a force to be feared. Yes, we will be a force to be feared. Please tell me those brigands aren't gonna fucking attack us. Your orders, sire. Without question, sire. Yes, sire. Without question, well, sire. Well, Antinoch seems to be having a good time. <laughs> They're kicking the Turks' ass pretty hard. It's good to see. I don't have to worry about fighting the Turks for too long. Guess wait. See what happened. Command me, sire. I don't like that they're uh Hail my king. They're trying to bribe my guy. Assembling a mighty host of your troops, sire. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Or you try and bribe my guy. Fuck off. Catapults? Yes, I need that. Please. My lord. Orders. My lord. Finding forces, build up sire. this force. Sire. My lord. Sire. Kind of just spamming knights now. As you come I mean, you guys are good enough to take that I've down. I tried whipping them, sire. But the men are spent. Oh, Jesus Christ, they're so surrounded. I can't even see my own guys. Holy crap! Look at all their banners. There are so many of them, and they're bringing up more. Fuck. I got the, Tur I, the Turks have already been talking to me. Fuck off. Yes, my lord. Also, what's yes, Venice sir. up to? Can I talk to Venice? What is it you hey, Venice, discuss? what's up? Uh. What can I? So, I'll give you map information, and I'll make a single payment of 1,800 gold. How could you ask these of us? Never. Okay, well, I mean, you guys are supposed to be on Crusade, and instead you're attacking Constantinople. You're supposed to be down here with me. I mean... Cool how you get them to do it though. Um Who's the big guy? To battle it is then, sire. Of course big guy runs away. Glorious victory is ours, sire. To war, then, okay, sire. here we go. Or should I auto resolve? Nah, let's fight it. This is gonna be a big climax of battles. It'll probably be the last battle of the night. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. 
Mr. Knight, as a squire, do we need to join a union? No, you do not. Units, await my orders. Marchers. Units. Marchers. Oh, this is not the army that I wanted Units. to control either. That's General not Knight. fantastic. This is the mostly infantry Units. army. I Assemble wanted the one that was mostly archers. They actually functioned the way that I wanted them to function. Oh, this isn't going to be great, but... Maybe over here. Alright, we need to take out some of these units as quickly as possible. So, goal right now is to kill this army before this army gets to us. And hopefully not worry about the rest. Because this army here is really the only one that's actually kind of scary. Well, is it actually? Wait a minute. It's mostly infantry. Light infantry on top of that. Some heavies here and there, but that's actually not too bad. And that's their prince. Or whatever faction heir he is. Maybe that's not too bad. Maybe that won't be. It's a scary army, yes, but I don't think it's a horrifying army. If I could find generals and pick up generals... Like that guy. That'll make this whole thing easier. Oh, that's cool. Oh, where'd your general go? Oh, the fucking army's catching up to him. Get in there. Not great. Okay. Fall back. Fall back. Men are winning the battle. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. General flew. The battle is very much in our favor. If we remain true and steadfast, victory only half the enemy force remains. Kill that unit, please. Come on. Enemy general has no one. Enemy general lies oh, dead. thank God he's fucking Good dead. Alright, cool. Saracen desert dog. To ride to war on a pony. Oh shit, I did not. Well, thank you, Sebastian. Thank you for the 420. <laughs> Much appreciated. Uh, where's my infantry? Infantry, please stop. 
I, I thought I had it set where you guys don't go running after others. This is why I'm thinking about like just doing mostly army of the battle is very there much in our favor. The enemy army flees the field. Of Cav, because down. so much of these battles is just us chasing them. The I don't think we really bloody. need a whole lot of they others. Lost half their men. <laughs> 420. But yeah, thank you so much. Again, thank you. I much appreciate it. How's the other forces looking right now? My other guys are kind of kicking ass too. Shit. There goes their other general. Good All here. of Christendom will be awed by the victory we have won here today. A loss more than I would have liked, I admit. Same with Arthur. Arthur lost more than I would have liked him to lose. But we did inflict a lot. We inflicted a lot and we killed their general. We killed a good portion of his units too. So I count that as a win. That was a good victory. Execute. Victory! Nothing can stop us, sire. My king. All right. Orders, my lord. Sire. More one. Hold this. It's kind of. Patch ourselves up now, shall we? Senior. This army got its ass kicked. Sire. That's not great. Um, we're gonna be down an army. Yes. I'm feeling it. Ordens, my lord. Already. Sire. Ordens, not great. Alright, what can you take? Ooh, wait a minute. Command me, sire. You no no, you're good. Sire, okay. By your command. Actually no, you Orders. could limit down a little bit more. There you go, that'll work. Right. Combining forces, sire. Yes. Marching, sire. Alright, um, you definitely need more cab. So I'll give you those two units. And I'll give you another unit of spearmen. For now. Yes. Use more archers for this army. And cabs. I'll give you more cab. And then one unit knights, one unit of spearmen. And then you could join this army. Okay. There we go. We're down an army now. That's not great, but it'll work.
That's what. When you get a sec, did you get the attached message? Uh, I let me take a look. Actually, I didn't even see that. Let me see. This fault. Hello, Nicholas. How are you? I'm sorry. I was kind of distracted. How have you been? Uh, let me see. Uh, I don't see it on the email. Do I actually have to sign into Stream Elements to see it? Hang on, let me sign into or pull up Stream Elements real quick, and I will take a look. I'm sorry. Uh. Oh, I do have to sign it. Okay, there it is. Hail Fern. It's good to see another merry soul enjoying this fine day. You look tired. Come, share a bottle of honey brew mead with me. Nothing like the fine spirits to help raise your spirit. Cheers, my friend. May your... May your... Oh, I just cut off. May your adventure find you fame and fortune. Oh, thank you, Sebastian. I like that. The dude from Skyrim. Those dudes are fucking cool. I wish you could get those guys as like, maybe not necessarily followers, but at least have like a quest related with them or something. I would love that. That would have been so fucking cool. But I do like those honey brew mead guys. Those guys are fucking awesome. All right. Oh, do I want to keep going? Oh my God, there are so many of them. Do you fucks ever stop? Command me, sire. This is why I need to move way faster. An order. Command me, sire. <laughs> His name's Sammy. Okay. Back to back, boys. Back to back. God, there's so many of these fucks. of bar flies <laughs> One, two, eight, nine, ten, eleven armies fucking hell I wonder if turkey's doing the same thing I'm guessing not Whoa, because that sorry. you know Astronauts yes, getting kind of yes, in their sorry. ass lately without question sire Yes, Your Highness. Command me, sire. Where to, sire? Mm. Oh, wow, still up. Yeah, Frank, I'm still up. I'm, I'm debating on whether or not I want to end it now. Because I've been kind of having fun with this, but at the same time, I'm like, fuck Egypt. 
Please, stop. <laughs> Look at them. They're doing like what the Red Guards and Khajiit kept doing to me in that uh, Elder Scrolls Total War playthrough, where they just keep fucking throwing guys at me. And we're winning, we're killing them all, but it's like, fuck, please stop. <laughs> at least join them all into one big force rather than 50 little forces. Yeah. And I really want to take this city. I don't know if I'll take it tonight, though. It, and it is late. It's really late. You know what? Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. We'll end it for now. We'll save it. Have our big grand battle against Egypt next time because their armies are starting to get a little bigger which is scary I might build an army throw them on my ships and send them over because my one thing is for sure is that my navy is definitely stronger than theirs my navy is fucking crushing them so I don't think they could afford if I were to have like an army come over here and start conquering in eastwards, you know, hit west, go south, and start going east. I don't think they could handle that, especially since all their forces are literally right here. So I think that's going to be the plan. They just keep coming. They do. They just keep fucking coming. Tonight, did you hear that Big Goth Air sleeps? Sleepers and dreamers are not because he treated the heart chamber to play League of Legends ignore his responsibilities oh boy he's playing League well that's a poison <laughs> I heard his parents on Joe Rogan caused some issues with the great houses hey Sebastian that Joe Rogan episode was fantastic what are you talking about when Dig Off Earth shows up on Joe Rogan that was awesome <laughs> or when uh Joshua Graham. I don't know if you guys ever see that. The Joshua Graham episode of Joe Rogan. The AI one. That one was fucking hilarious. <laughs> That's one thing about the Total War that bothers me is that like there's no pop no matter how many you kill. They just keep coming. Yeah. As long as you can afford it, you can just keep pumping units. Roll up some long button leaf <laughs> for, uh, for lots of us. Cheers, lads. A safe travels. It sounds good, Sebastian. But yeah, I think I'll go ahead and end it here for tonight. It's late. And uh, I gotta get to bed. I didn't realize how late it is. Fuck. I got... I was like, you know, as they say, time flies when you're having fun. I was having fun with this. Just trying to beat these guys back. The AI in Total War Games cheats money too. Yeah, that's true. They do actually cheat money. Which is why I don't feel bad whenever I use like the exploit on them to get them to give me their money. Because I'm like, well, the AI already cheats the money in, so fuck it. So yeah, I'll go ahead and end it here for tonight. Uh, next stream will actually be on New Year's Eve. I set up a poll because we're going to, it's going to be a community game night. Where we're all pretty much going to stay up till uh, midnight and just play the Total War, or not Total War, but play whatever games that you guys voted for, which as of right now, I think Enlisted's in the lead. Yeah, Enlisted's in the lead, not by much. Actually, no, it is by much. Yeah, Enlisted's got a solid lead, uh, which is good because Enlisted's a free-to-play game, so everyone could play it. But that's going to be the next one we do is we're going to be doing Enlisted and that would be on New Year's Eve. It's going to be a community game night. So I'll set up a server and we could all play together and we could go and fight Normandy or whatever map you guys want to do. I like the Normandy maps. What can I say? I'm an American stand. 
you know but yeah that's that's gonna be the next one it'll be fun so hope you guys all enjoyed go ahead and get those games oh what front is enlisted enlisted does all the fronts oh what front in enlisted oh what front uh chancellor is probably gonna be normandy my bad i read that wrong uh it's probably gonna be normandy although i'm willing to do all fronts doesn't really matter to me i play all of them um uh, normandy is just the one that i play the most on and i had the most unlocked so can ps4 players drop in i believe so derek uh if i remember right uh let me see hang on i believe it is cross-platform i'm pretty certain it is I swear I've seen PC players playing PS4. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty certain. I'm almost 100% certain that it's cross-platform. Because Austin and I were looking at that the other day. He messaged me saying, like, yeah, it's cross-platform. It's cross yeah, it is. Yeah, Franco's right, it is. So that'll be something that we could all do. So we could all be playing that game. It's cross-platform. So yeah, that'll be fun. Oh, Austin's here. Speaking of which. Hey, Austin. Well, I'm extremely late. Yeah, no worries, Austin. <laughs> no worries. All right, we're just finishing up here. Wish you an amazing, wonderful night. Thank you, Empire Knight. Um, the AI's trash taste potential edition. <laughs> yeah. I miss AI trash taste. Yeah. That would have been fun. I agree, Sebastian. I'll probably be watching Hall Life Ian New Year's. Happy New Year's, everyone. Happy New Year's to you as well, Sebastian. Thank you for stopping by and thank you again for the 420. Much appreciate it. I went over play board what playing WOT. Ah, no worries, Austin. I think they kill you based on skill or level probably level i think am oh i at the opt out i'm fucking broken in that game are you i'm guessing you're really good i was just gonna do like a private server and set the password to be like crusader kai or something I'm like all right everyone join in we're gonna go and fuck around or something that's what I was planning on, dude. Although I don't know if Enlisted has private servers. I'm pretty certain it does. But, eh. I'll figure that out tomorrow when I'm setting everything up. I was going to, like, test it all out tomorrow, see, and then that way on Sunday, it's all good to go. But I'm pretty certain we should be all right. If it's private, should be fine. The meager has it's based on equipment level. Ah, it's based on equipment level. I got a lot of the premium squads. Ah, you do? I do. I haven't. I had some of the. Uh, well, I used to do the whole like. Uh, not premium account, but whatever account it was. Where it unlocks a lot of the shit for you. And then I just stopped doing it. So. War Thunder can have private games, same company. I thought about playing War Thunder for a little bit too. I every time I look at War Thunder, I'm like, you know, it is the same company. And I hear it's really good. And I do want to play it. One of these days I will. One of these days I will get War Thunder. It's also a free to play game too. So why the hell not? Uh, if it's a private game, it should be fine. The based on the yeah, uh, golf of friends Discord while collisions on. Oh boy, that'll be fun. That would be fun. Uh, I may have asked this already, but will we be chatting via Discord or in game? Uh, depends. How do you guys want to do it? Do you guys want to do a Discord call, or do you guys want to do an in game thing? Because I'm fine with either. Discord would probably be a bit easier. But if the end game is uh 
Well, actually, is the in-game uh, proximity chat? Because I, I, I have fun with that. I have fun where I could like listen to you guys screaming at like a distance. It's like part of the reason why I liked Battle Bit so much is where you could like run around and just hear people yelling at one another. It's fucking hilarious. I love that stuff. But I don't think it has. Well, I don't know. I've never tried proximity chat in it. If it has it, I've never seen anyone ever use it. That's the thing. So I'm pretty certain it doesn't have it, but I don't know. We'll see. I love Prox Chat, but I don't know if that console has that. Yeah, exactly. I'm not too sure. I don't really know if it's Prox Chat. I know Console Chivalry 2 is silent. Yeah, see? Yeah, I'm not 100% certain if it is either. I don't, I, I'm almost positive it does it. So if that's the case, we'll just jump into Discord call. We'll just do a big Discord call and we could uh, hang out there and do it. Oh, Jesus, Derek, I just tapped into our Discord and saw the fucking Richard the Lionheart dying and me being like, what the fuck? Richard died. No. That pissed me off. That legitimately pissed me off when Richard died. I was like, what the fuck, man? I didn't even have him for a... I, that was like the first battle he fought in. He fucking dies. <laughs> Effective either way, I can test out our, my new headset. Yeah, see? Why, I have no clue. I'm fine, no effect. <laughs> I know, that, that photo is fucking funny. I like poker faces drops and like, here guys, have fun. And now we're just making memes with it. That is exactly what I want. I like this shit. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, we'll probably just do that. We'll just do a Discord call. I ha Yeah, I saw the voice channels. Yeah, we'll just do Discord. That'll work. Have, let's see, how many people are in our Discord? Like 20? Yeah. 19. Well, just have like 19 people all crammed in one. I had my Richard the Lionheart die in the battle defending the Holy City. See, at least he died cool, Austin. Mine fucking died in the first battle on a skirmish. Like nothing. Like he was shot by a fucking arrow and that's how he died. That pissed me off. I was like, really? Really? This is the first fucking battle you're in and you die. And it sucks because, like, Richard the Lionheart is, like, one of my favorite kings in history. And so, like, I was looking forward to playing with him. And then he just fucking dies. And now I'm stuck with, like, low-tier generals. I still lost Jerusalem. No. No. That's sad. You know what would be cool is figuring out the Resident Evil Outbreak online thing and playing through that. Jesus, that game was great and horrible. I do want to play that. That is one that I do actually really want to play. Um, Because basically... It, it's... All, <clears throat> sorry. It's almost like a... I, I want to say like D&D &D game, but it's not a D&D &D game. But basically it's a horror game where one player... Gets to set up all the monsters and traps and shit. And then the other five have to run around trying to survive. 
I love that idea. I think it's such a cool idea. I don't like voice chat much, so I probably won't be chatting, but I will probably play. Yeah, no worries. No worries, Empire Knight. You don't have to be in the voice chat with us. I just thought that would be kind of a fun thing. Oh no. I mean, original outbreak. A co-op game that pushes online play back to the PS2 days. Oh! I think the one that came with three, that is its spiritual successor. Ah, okay, so that one. All right, so I was just getting them. Or I was probably getting them confused then. Actually, no, I was probably thinking of. Uh, oh, what's the multiplayer one? Uh, resistance. I think I was thinking of resistance. That's the resistance is the one where it's like a D and D thing where one player sets up traps and whatnot, and the other like five have to survive. Yeah, resistance. That's the one I was thinking of. Outbreak's the one where it's the. I think it's soldiers, right? I own both of the outbreak games on the PS2. And I still play them. Lucky. You still have a PlayStation 2. That's even better. My PlayStation 2 died and we couldn't revive it. That poor little thing. But fuck. Thousands of hours reported on that. Well worth it. Well, well worth it. W World at War co-op is pretty fun. I played it with Winston and it was hella fun. That it? True. A lot of the Call of Duty games have like a really fun co-op mode. In the Halo games, the Halo games co-op is fantastic. I love the co-op in all the games. Now, the true Resident Evil multiplayer game everyone forgets about is um, Resident Evil Umbrella Corpse. That's the one where you play as Umbrella. Oh, pretty Ooh, that sounds cool. I don't think I've ever played that one. I'd play it. That sounds like fun. Umbrella Operators. That would be like the uh, one SCP game where you play as the Foundation and you just got to run around and actually try and survive. That would be fun. Uh, Outbreak had a list of characters from police officers to a reporter to a waitress. It was mainly, let's do a non-canon side piece of original Resident Evil trilogy. Outbreak 2 shows how the RCPD got taken out. Ah, well, that sounds cool. That was also a good game, but also one of the other games that all for they all forgot about is Operation Raccoon City, which is arguably the best Resident Evil game in my opinion. I've never played that one. Operation Raccoon City. Never played it. Haven't played a Resident Evil game, sadly. Yeah, no worries, Austin. To be fair, there's a lot of them. And I even, even I haven't played all of them. I've played most. Well, the early ones. i played the early Resident Evil games. But I haven't played any of the new ones yet. Operation Raccoon City is underrated. I liked it. Didn't like Umbrella Corpse as much due to no real single player. Also, Umbrella Corp had a zero player count within a week. Ah, That sucks. 
I played all of them because I'm a massive fan of the Resident Evil series. Hey, Resident Evil is a good series. I should do all of them eventually. That would be a fun, that would be like a fun Halloween thing to play all Resident Evil games. It, but it also depends on how quickly you could beat them. Why Resident Evil 1 Remake is the best remake. The original collection is basically just RE1 Remake with a few scares difference because it's a new generation. Ah. Hey, guys, still up playing? Anyways, just passing by. Hey, kind of death night. And welcome. We are just about to end. So, we just kind of got sidetracked talking about Resident Evil games and whatnot. So, uh, just to fill you in on... Sunday, yeah, Sunday. I had to rethink that. On Sunday, we're going to be doing the, um, oh god, guy, don't say all. There's about 30 different Resident Evil games. <laughs> well, at least the main line, the main line, like one through eight, I'll play, I could play all of those. Uh, now mainstream re it's one through eight also zero if you could try that one yeah you could do that one well um, sorry death night but uh, as i was saying on sunday we're gonna be doing a like new year's eve uh community game of enlisted so if you'd like to join us please do so all of us are going to be playing enlisted i'll have it like a server set up or something and we could all jump on there and run around and either kill each other or kill the enemy or do whatever. So it'll be fun. Run around as World War II soldiers on whichever front you guys want to do. Probably Normandy because that's the one I like, but I'm down for other maps. Ugh. The Resident Evil Revelation games are really good, though. And also, Raccoon Rebecca Chambers is the best character in the entirety of Resident Evil. And I'll fight anybody who says otherwise. I've been playing Revelations. I've not played those ones yet. Real RE fans have played Resident Evil Survivor. Funny. There's been four attempts at light gun Resident Evil and while I dead aim. <laughs> You'll die here tonight to make it work. Ah. Yeah. I, I need to play the Resident Evil games. Like I said, it'll be a fun like build up for Halloween. Maybe I'll do that this year or next year or whatever. I never heard of Enlisted. If I'm being honest, probably the only game I knew was the golf game. Hello. Yeah, no worries, Death Knight. So Enlisted, and the reason why I kind of threw Enlisted on there is Enlisted is a free-to-play World War II shooter. So it's free-to-play. It's cross-platform compatible. So Xbox, PlayStation, and well, I, think the, I think there's an Xbox version. Uh, Xbox, PlayStation, and PC could all play together. It's free, cross-platform. All you have to do is just sign into a server and you're good to go. So that's kind of the reason why I threw it on the list. Because I figured, like, oh, that would be a nice, easy one for everyone to play. And it doesn't matter, you know, if you're a console player or not. Everyone could do it. So, if you like, you could join us. 
Have you ever played Battlefield or Arma? Basically that. Shoot guys, capture objectives. Most maps are pretty cut and clear lines. Yeah, pretty much. Derek's right. It's basically like your regular first person shooter. Regular World War II shooter. Like old school Call of Duty games. So yeah, please feel free to join us though. So it'll be fun. I don't know. How, well, I want us to try and go till midnight, but I don't know how long that would or how well that would work <laughs> because honestly, I usually don't stay up till midnight, although I am tonight. So, you know, maybe with some helps of energy drinks, I could do it again. But yeah. Well, that's pretty much the plan. No, but I play Halo. Yeah, it's, it's like that. I guess Endless is like a regular first person shooter, you know? Now, if we got Chivalry 2, well, if you lose your arms, you headbutt. <laughs> that would, that is pretty funny. That would be funny. <laughs> if you play as a whole squad. Yeah, exactly. Austin's right. You play as a whole squad. So when you die, rather than just dying, dying, you just get a new squad member and continue to play as them. Makes death a lot easier. Because now you don't have to really wait to respawn. Unless the whole squad gets wiped out, then you do have to wait to respond, but yeah. I'll probably outlast most of you because I'm used to staying up all night. That's true, Empire Knight. That is true. <laughs> I think Halo, but longer range engagements with more ADS. Bolt actions are pretty much one shot. They only draw an enemy. Yeah. There you go. It, you know, look at that. Basic World War II shooter. It's a fun one, though. It's free to play. Cross-platform compatible. Everyone can do it. So I'm excited. And that will be, I believe I have it for 6 p.m. Let me double check real quick. Yeah, 6 p.m. So it'll be 6 p.m. Sunday. It'll be fun. Yeah, looking at Discord Size Squad is the mode to play. I think you can do solo game mode and it has a 50 player account. Yeah, I think so too. But yeah, like I said, it'll be fun. So, anyway, I gotta end it here. It's late. It's very late. Much later than I had originally planned. So, I'll go ahead and end it here for tonight. Squad is 10 out of 10. Oh, 10 v 10. I do want to play squad. Oh, squads. Yeah, we can play squads. I'm fine with that. Like I said, we have just enough people to play that, to do squads. I thought when I saw squad, my immediate thought process was just the squad game. God, I'm I'm fucking tired. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. But no, we could do that. We could do squads. We could do uh, whatever one. But yeah, good night, guys. So I will see you on Sunday. And yeah, thanks for the info, guys. And good night, guys. Good night. I'll see you guys later. Thank you all for stopping by. Hope you all have a fantastic night. Hope you all had fun. I certainly did. As you can see, I got caught up in this. And I will see you all Sunday. Bye.